the most insidious and evil secret society to ever exist. The Hellfire Club was known for an endless amount of terror, satanic rituals, human sacrifices, and a visit from the devil himself. Three nights in their three most horrifying locations. Hellfire Club. This was the most requested location we have ever had, and is also the first to leave Corey emotionally paralyzed as he fights to scream for help. Oh, that is here. And they've said that the devil came here. Uh, shadow came out from this wall right behind him and uh, just engulfed him. He hasn't been back up here yet. A haunted house is one thing, but demonic, I'm not with it. Whoa! Devil. 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 Somebody's got to roll that Hellfire Cave. There are still remains of people that um, sort of fell foul to the ways of the Hellfire Club, still remain down here, yeah. If you are an evil spirit or demon, then turn the light on. If you don't know what kind you... I don't think I signed up for this. Oh, I blocked this hall. The shadows that we've seen in this hallway, seven foot dark, and it's not meant to be very friendly. Guys, I know you're messing with the walkie talkie, but seriously, is there somebody in the hallway? Could you tell me why it's called the devil's bedroom? I rule. Hellfire Club, the trilogy. Hey everyone, before we start this three plus hour long video of the Hellfire Club trilogy, just wanna let you know that the reason I found it so important to upload this as one big series is because we did do the Hellfire Club, Cave, and Loftus Hall so far apart on the channel. And I really found it super cool that we got to go to all three locations, especially being the last ones to ever go to Loftus Hall. But before we begin, I wanna tell you about something special, something amazing, something that you all should know about, and maybe, not maybe, it is the best mobile game in the entire world, it is Raid Shadow Legends. It's now available on mobile and PC. Which has a ton of champions. As of right now, it's over 600. And all of those champions come from unique factions, each with their own history in the world of Teleria. But right now, let's meet fantasy's favorite bad boys, the orcs. Orcs get a bad rap in fantasy, but in Raid, they're not all bad. They were created by the Dark Lord, Seroth, and have a really good reason to not like humans. But after a brutal war against the Banner Lords, High Elves, and Sacred Order, their lands were annexed, forcing most Orc clans to become nomadic. Now they're just trying to survive. Yet when seeing an ally in Queen Eva of the Elves, they've joined her cause, but don't even know her true motivations. So if you want to see how the story unfolds, you'll have to play the campaign mode to see the full story. The orcs look really cool, and here's a couple of my favorites. You can see the influence of each tribe and personality in them. Raid truly is an immersive game that gives you endless possibilities that you can create with your champions, with your gameplay, with your style, with the campaign mode, with everything that you want. So if you have a kind of a sporadic, you know, attention, Band, like I do, this will keep you entertained day in, day out. If you use my link or scan the QR code that's right here, new players will get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. And free champion, Aina, you will find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days. Once you're in, you can find me in game under the name TFIL Elton. So just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. But of course, thank you again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for tuning in and supporting the Overnight channel. So yeah, thank you all for your support. Enjoy the rest of the video, and we'll see you see you uh, next next video. Next video is brand new. Winchester House. Look at that. New content. Yay. Okay, bye. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Overnight channel, where we are dedicated to everything paranormal, mysterious, unsolved, ghostly, spooky, whatever it might be. We're here to dabble in it and learn about it. But tonight, has probably been the most requested location we have ever had over the last five years. Every single video, there's at least 50 people that comment, go to Ireland and go to the Hellfire Club. We're in Ireland and we're about a 20 minute hike away from the Hellfire Club. So Finally. we're not gonna make it to the Hellfire Club. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minute hike. We got as close as we could, guys, sorry. So of course tonight, it's just the three of us here, but we are meeting up with the paranormal researchers of Ireland, basically known as the best paranormal team in the country. And then tomorrow, we're continuing the saga and actually going into the Hellfire Caves in London. So we're flying to England tomorrow to do the cave. So Hellfire Club is this episode, Hellfire Caves is the next episode, 
And of course, in London, we're meeting up with Dan, who's otherwise known as Exploring with Fighters, and Jack, our editor. Yeah. Who we have never met after a year of working together. I know. But you guys have never met him either. No, we've no. never met Jack. No. Uh, never once. With COVID, we can never travel to see each other. You know? It's been, uh, it's been real hard, but I know that when we finally do meet him, what does that mean? Like there's some built up emotions. About what? Romance? With who? Somebody named Jack from the UK. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna try something. Hmm. What? James, Jonathan, Danny, Michael, Jack, Matt. Wow, snap right weird. out of it. All right, that's a weird. Interesting, weird. Isn't that int Pavlov dog thing that we got going on right now? Huh. What happened? So well, if you guys don't know about the Hellfire Club, which I'm not sure <laughs> how much you guys know about it. Oh, I know a lot about it. Oh, do you? Yeah. What do you know? I don't want to spoil it for. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Shouldn't maybe Matt do an explanation? Oh. The Hellfire Club was established in 1743. Built on the backs of motorcycles, gangs run rampant throughout the United States and United Kingdom. What? Would you mind yeah, doing the, the, the Irish that. version though? The Hellfire's Club was built in the 1430s, in the back of the barn, in the parts in the front of the center. You go down the corner, the ghosts are weaving everywhere. They'd pull your hair, they'd pull your hoodie. You go back and you turn upside down, where are ya? You? You're upside down, but you turn back, where are ya? Think about it. Jack. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, this is one of the few places where there's people that actually believe Satan was documented on Earth here. Wait, 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 are you serious? Yes, I'm being dead serious. Satan was documented here. Yes. But we got a 20 minute hike through the woods to do right now. Hurry. We have to walk through the woods? Yeah. Montpelier Hill, more infamously known as the Hellfire Club, sits in a now public park just outside of Dublin, Ireland, with a beautiful view of the city. Yet with light comes darkness, and the Hellfire Club is so dense with darkness, you can feel it against your skin upon entering. The name itself, Hellfire Club, and everything it stood for, was pledged in blood and dedicated to precisely that. This Irish location borrowed its name from the original Hellfire Club founded in London in 1718, known for being a meeting place for persons of quality who wished to take part in socially perceived immoral acts. A majority of these heinous acts were executed in a location we are visiting in the next episode at the Hellfire Caves just outside of London. But of course, all of this abusive mistreatment were only rumors as most members were involved in high level of politics with evidence never concretely brought against the club. The stories and paranormal activity found at the various Hellfire Club locations would say it is far more than just rumors. This location was formally founded in 1735 by Richard Parsons, known for partaking in black magic. Yet the secrecy behind who they were led the public to believe they were Satanists and devil worshippers. This rumor was cherished and taken to the fullest extent as the president of the club would then become titled the King of Hell and would dress as if he were Satan himself, outfitted with horns, wings, and hooves. The dedication they had to Lucifer was not a publicity stunt or a meaningless joke. Every meeting they held, they would reserve a place for Satan himself to have a seat. One night, at another location in Ireland we will visit soon, known as Loftus Hall, they said the devil himself appeared to play a game of cards until he caught his seat on fire and vanished. As terrifying as that story may seem, what was done at this stone structure in Dublin was just as horrifying. Black masses were held, sacrifices of animals and humans were frequent. Exorcisms have been attempted, but all failed. The details of so many terrible nights will be shared with us tonight by our fellow paranormal investigators and Dublin natives. This is only the beginning of our Hellfire Club journey. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. If you hear or see anything in this video that we do not, please leave a comment and let us know. He said it was over here. It's somewhere. Elton, which way was it again? Somewhere that way. Which way? That way. Which way? That way. This is kind of like doing ballet. <laughs> a little somewhere. bit. And arm up. And plie. Like something's rubbing on me. I don't even know what the point of my light is because I'm blinded by <laughs> I can only see three feet in front of me. Why do you need a map when we have a trail? That's true. All right, so once we get off the trail, then I'll use the map. This giant backpack has all of our paranormal gear in it, so 
that's what we're carrying out. We got night vision cameras, fire GoPros, and literally every device that we possibly have. So imagine if you could have all that in an app on your phone. <laughs> Man, <laughs> funny, phone funny you mentioned that. We're okay. lost. Finally got service again, and we missed the turn. It was probably a mile back. And it looks like we have to go an extra mile out of the way now to get there. It's in there somewhere. So it's either we go the extra mile or we cut through this path right here. It's actually beautiful. How's it going? It is. All right. I'm Elton. Tina. Tina. Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you? How are you? We're good. Matt. Matt. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. How are you? Nice, Very nice to, meet to meet you. Hey, Corey. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, meeting us up here. No problem. I assume you guys didn't go through the woods like we did. <laughs> we didn't go through the bike paths and everything. And, and we didn't get lost at all. Yeah. I didn't Weird get lost of you guys all. to go ahead and assume that. <laughs> but you got here in the end. That's the yeah, main thing. Yeah. That's the main thing. <laughs> it's almost 300 years. Yeah. 300 years old. What? 1734, right? Yeah. 25. 35. The first uh, part was, yeah, 25, mm. and the roof was actually swept off it. Oh. So then the redesigned it to be like an oval shape to try to take the wind a little bit better. With oh. concrete. Yeah. Is that yeah, like the original is, stone and everything? Yeah. The bottom part of it is, yeah. So yeah. the roof would have been the repaired bit, if that makes sense. But that's but the, still from back in the 70s. Yeah, that would have been back in the yeah. 70s. Wow. Well, yeah. 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 It's one of the most popular places in the country, isn't it, for the darker side of things? For the darker side, yeah. definitely. I think this well would be, known. yeah, this would be the darkest mm. in terms Definitely. of what it was used for, mm. historical, mm. utilized place we've ever been. We've gone in here and we found Ouija boards on the ground for people. Yeah. Oh. And it's funny. Just, so. yeah. <laughs> just some YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, Ouija boards on the ground and obviously places where people were sitting and you've seen that they've run out because yeah. they've left like blankets, they've left the Ouija boards, they've left, and they've just run out of place. There's actually talks of that you you can still hear the screams of the, the tortured people and all that kind of stuff, yeah, oh so it's, a, it's an interesting, interesting There's place. one particular story of a dad who came looking for his daughter and they had tortured her and burnt her and rolled her down the hill and done other things to her. What they were doing when the father came to knock on the door, seemingly what he saw, his hair turned white um, and he never spoke again. So yeah. his daughter had died but they were still continuing to do whatever they were doing. But he never spoke again and his hair turned white overnight. So Wow. Another thing I'll just we'll just be bombarding with information. Yeah, we'll love it. Happy to hear more when we go inside. But um, yeah. for you guys, I mean how long have you guys been Your paranormal longer. investigators and, and researchers? Ten years. And I'm I've about, been doing it. She's like ten, I'm about five, six. Yeah. Give or take, yeah. Is that how you met? Uh yeah. Yeah. There's something that keeps me doing what I do. Um, but I don't, I'm not a psychic, I'm not a medium, I don't see or sense things. But there's just that little edge that I've heard certain things that would make me want to keep investigating, yeah. you know. And they've said that the devil came here. That's one of the stories. Yeah. Do, you know, what, do you know what year? Uh, it was the 1700s. I don't know the exact year, but that's, that's the, one of the stories of how it burnt. Wow. There's another story that says that one of the hierarchy, so to speak, at the Hellfire Club was uh, interrupted or, you know, disrespected by another one of the, the persons there, and he drowned him in alcohol and just set him on fire, and that's what burnt the building as well. So there's a couple of interesting, different, different tales, yeah. Jeez. But there is one of the the devil being here, yeah. But yeah, we'll go in and. Uh, Dude, what? <laughs> it's, it's the perfect building to light on fire because no matter what, it'll never. Abs burn. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. It'll never burn to the ground. Oh, there's a staircase still. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, different parts of this would have been redone by the OPW in Ireland. You know, that's like the government, so I think the stairs yeah. Yeah. have been fixed. So it was, there was a lot of kind of parchments and documents and records and all that kind of stuff. And of course, no one really got a chance to read through them. They were just taken out. Yeah. And a friend of mine was investigating here one night and he was standing against this wall. I wasn't there on the night. And he said, literally, somebody, he said it was like a black uh, shadow came out from this wall right behind him and uh, just engulfed him. And he said he was never coming back up here again. He hasn't been back up here again. Wow. Yeah, he left God. running and he has not been back up here again. And that would have been 10 years ago that that happened to him. And he's a, he's an investigator. Like he just will not set foot in the hellfire ever again. Do you know what he was doing? 
they that were, might have made that happen? No, he said that they were all in the room. They weren't calling out for anything specific. His way of investigating would be listening. You know, it wouldn't be a lot of calling out or things like that. So, and they weren't provoking. They weren't shouting. They weren't screaming. Um, but what you have to remember here is what when you come up to investigate on a night the night before or that day what were people doing up there mm. that day oh, yeah. you know so yeah. it may not be what you were doing you know mm. something could have called something errors before the day before you know yeah. and that could different energies then yeah. so last night people could have came up here and done a ritual absolutely, absolutely. yeah <laughs> we were in here another night and the, the pig's head was in what yeah what, the other night as in so they were obviously doing some sort of blood sacrifice or yeah. whatever that goes with pig's heads but wow. it's constant up here i'm not messing wow. and that's what the first bit of the door was that the, the roof was swept off as a kind of revenge kind of thing that wasn't you yeah why okay Got yeah tug no no okay so completely just felt someone grab my arm and as i look down just a super cold breeze goes by Jeez. like I, i'm being like dead ass i thought it was evan like standing really close to me <laughs> like hitting me Good i'm story. not even playing bro it was like super gentle squeeze i know, I know you hate it when it happens but i love here i was gonna I say <laughs> yeah, I know. big smile on my face here i'm thinking that's it that's that's that's, that's what i like insane yeah. i literally thought it was you well, so we'll we haven't even started yet <laughs> i know <laughs> we haven't even heard more than 10 percent of the stories yeah but they're still gatherings as we call them like one night we were coming up here and there was a group of people you weren't with me this night this would have been before you joined the team and we were coming up and there was people with gowns <laughs> Oh, no. And they were just walking towards us, coming down the big hill, saying nothing. And we're walking up, I was thinking, oh, Jesus, like, but they're young and they're trying to start, let's say, mm -hmm. maybe witchcraft or, you know, um, black magic or, but it's, I, I'm trying to find what groups do and I don't know. Yeah. This building's kind of a mirror of itself as well, guys. This kind of room is literally mirrored over that side mm. and more or less the same upstairs as well. It was actually a three-story building on one side, wasn't it? There was three floors. Oh, really? But when yeah. we go upstairs, we'll show you. Um, it was like a wooden floor, um, but it's just been taken down, I assume, probably for safety reasons, for mm. like, people on and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's definitely, you can see how big. Massive. The fireplace is already, yeah. And you can see. Oh, yeah, is it locked off? No. No, no it goes straight out. Yeah. So we were up Greens. here with around seven or eight different people, and we were standing here in a circle. Sorry. And there was one guy out in the hall and we were calling out. We had our devices here on the floor, so we would have had an ED meter and K2s and, you know, just simple little devices um, on the floor. And outside, uh, Wayne was standing outside. He's, he doesn't, nothing scares him. He didn't, didn't bother him being out. And then next minute, we had all our torches turned off, just the lights on the floor. Next minute, Wayne ran in. As he ran in, there was a big tud. It was like the whole, building shook now i can't debunk this because the whole building is solid it's it's just solid um a guy that was here on the left he bent over he started vomiting so the building shook all the machines went mad he started vomiting Wayne ran in he said he ran in because a shape a dark shape in the hall just came up and went towards him so he ran in and that was the first night we even talking about it, that was, I was absolutely terrified that night. I had no control of anything. And when I come up here, it's, it's nice to sort of, you get your bearings, you know the place, you've been up here loads, you know. I wouldn't be anywhere on my own with the lights off, but you know, and that night there was no control of anything. Everything went haywire. And the guy who was vomiting, he said it just like that, it just hit him. He bent over and just started getting sick. Wow. Jeez. We went down the hill. I called an end to that night. It's the first time, isn't it, that, that it's I called the first time you've ever. ever. An investigation. We, I scrapped the investigation. Well, yeah, I felt here. not safe, and that was here. So we have the people there. Uh, Is that uh, your backpack? I'm watching it. Oh, yeah. It's hidden, too. We have guests. Should we scare them? Everyone hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> Should we all Do you guys want to talk to Satan? I see you. <laughs> Come on in and play. 
The door is right there. Just walk on through. I promise you'll leave. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Sake. You got me. <laughs> Jesus, Elton. Here, you carry your backpack. That's right. So there are these. What is that? You can see. Sorry, the the beams. Yeah, there would have been another floor. Oh. You can kind of see the doorway. See there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, there would have been another floor, but obviously there must have been wood or something like that. It was before my time. Yeah. A dude up here. Well, two years ago, Chris, was it? Was it two years ago? Yeah. Three years ago. And. Um, we didn't realize that we had actually met him. We were up here one night and we were doing an investigation and uh, it was middle of winter. So everybody had their beanies on, uh, jumpers, hoods, you know. So he came into the middle of the group and I thought he was just one of us. So <laughs> I accepted him in, I thought he was one of us. And then somebody said to me, who's that? And I said, oh, I thought he was part of the team. And they were like, no, he's not. And we were saying, what are you doing here? And he had a bag with him and he goes, nothing, I'm just up here waiting for friends. What friends are you waiting for up the hell, up, you know, top of Dublin mountains? Uh, I met them on the internet, they're on their way up now. And then one of the other guys that were with us said, what's in your bag? He was really dodgy. Mm. And he ended up opening the bag and he had knives in the bag. So then shortly after that, uh, it was on the news, there was a stabbing up in the Hellfire Club. Middle of the day and he slit the throats of this young guy and young girl. They didn't die, and there was loads of people up here. He done it in front of them, so he was taken in, and the description he gave is the same guy who twice had come into us in the middle of the night when we were up here one or two in the morning. And um, he said his defense was, uh, the hellfire, the, the devil in here made him do it, that he was communicating with the devil, he was staying up here and that the devil spoke to him and said that he had to make sacrifices or kill people or stab people and so he said that the, the house spoke to him. Before he said I've got to be in the entire building by myself while everybody else sits, everybody else sits outside and minds the business. Is that true? He said that. I did not he say that. He, he, I, I heard him say it too. I he heard whispered that it as well when you were talking to Chris. Everyone raise your hand if you heard Corsail say in the room building by himself. No, naked. So, 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 he said so, naked. Yeah. Yeah. The only way. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> What's going on? We're making a deal. <laughs> listen. Okay. Listen. Yeah, yeah. The only way mm. that I would stay in a room by myself is if we each have to be in our room by ourselves, but it's all at the same time. No, you gotta no. do the building. That defeats the purpose, no. you see. It's not personal experience, then. No. I like them. Have you guys been in here by yourselves? Oh, it's terrible. No. Oh, <laughs> so I was going to be like, hell no, we want to do that. Okay, I'll do it. Really? Oh, oh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do it later. Okay. Oh, Told geez. you you said it. Okay. I wasn't even a part of any of this at all. So. so I genuinely think you should do it because you won't get, that you won't, you won't get the chance again. You volunteered, to be honest. I was just trying to have a good video. <laughs> what if we sat back to back blindfolded and had a ton of tools around us and just. Blindfolded? Why the f would you do that? I yeah. want to see First of all, you have to yourself. Don't yeah, try to roll you in that blindfold. Wait, wait, wait. Well, so Matt, you're saying no? No! <laughs> okay, well, no means yes, so you're doing it. What? Yeah. Don't you have some sort of rule where we, he can pass on this, but then he has to do something tomorrow? That is Ooh. true. That is the truth. You get one pass per trip. Oh, that's a risk. You want to use it? That, that's, that's, a, that's a risk. Ooh, we got 12 more days, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> a haunted house is one thing, but demonic, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> with it. Well, with that being said, would you like to lead us through anything? We'll follow your lead. We can kick off the start of investigation unless Corey wants to. Go first, or do you want to leave it to later on? We'll do later. We'll do later. We'll do later. We'll do later. Yeah, okay. we can do it later. Yeah. 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 Wait. So you want to be in here after everything has already begun, by yourself? I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Investigation. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Nada. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Not even where you felt your friend. Whoa. What? Did you see that? No, I was actually not looking at it. Don't. I'm, I'm being, I was literally looking at the floor to make could, sure. Did, could you see the screen at all? No, I don't walk in front. Okay, can I see it again? You're kidding me that exact time? It's not doing it. What? It, when you went from corner to corner, a giant black circle just sat in the middle until you looked at me and then it disappeared. Like, as I'm doing this, you can see the, you see how the black is like going like that? Yeah. It wasn't that. 
It was literally just a black ball in the middle, and it just stayed in the middle the whole time. Then once you looked at me, it went away. Kind of like a black mass. Remember when you'd be so reluctant to do anything? Yeah. And now you're like negotiating with other people to do stuff that makes them uncomfortable, but you're willing to do stuff uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how I got you to start doing things because I'd be like, well, if you went in a room by yourself, I'll stay in the house by myself. And now look what's happening. <laughs> I'm doing to Matt what you did to me. <laughs> yeah. And then next year, Matt's going to be doing that. Mm-hmm. Two. Should we say it on three who's joining TFIL? Sure. <laughs> Wait, should I say on three who's joining the overnight channel? Sure. One, two, three. Dwayne Ariana the Rock Grande. Johnson. <laughs> I thought we agreed on this. <laughs> we can only pick one else. <laughs> they're kind of the same. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they're pretty much the same person. I'm gonna go talk to Saints real quick. <laughs> what the f Something just got thrown at me. Ow, bro. Hey, what are you playing? Where at? Where at? Don't worry about it. What do you mean don't worry about it? Where are you from? Alright. You need to have to get in a fight. Something he'd run out of there. Yeah, I know. That's where I was trying to figure out where you were. So, no, none of us. Oh, so, so, he, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. What the f Serious? I swear to God. What just happened? <sighs> what happened? Dude, I was just being funny and I was trying to exit the room and something got thrown at me. What do you mean something got thrown like at you? Like a rock. It hit you? Yes, it hit my shoe. And it went What did he say? What did he say? He ran out. No, I seen him. <laughs> Wait, he took it, off. He didn't run out, he ran up. <laughs> oh. No, not there. Chris, Chris got no good for him. Oh, I thought he ran out. No, he ran up. No, he oh. ran up. Oh, right. Dude, I swear. <laughs> what the f the whole room is pitch black too. I didn't even enter it. Evan, come here. Oh my god, it just disappeared. I see him. You said oh, you I saw it, right? It was right there. It picked. It literally just picked up a figure right here. I'm not even kidding. No, it was just... The SLS picked up someone standing right here. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Yeah, no, so just I, I just literally see it. Because I can right see here. it's picking up Matt right now, yeah. Yeah. and it picked up exactly that right here without a heat signature. Yeah, like a little rock just got like tossed in my shoes. I started to walk in there. That's what happened. No, I seen your leg in it. You Real question, and this isn't like a setup. Have you seen the Ghost Avengers episode? Did you hear? Yeah. No. That's crazy. Same Why? thing. I didn't see it. I is didn't that, watch it. Is that what happens? They, they had a brick thrown at them. A brick. Oh my God. Yeah. So I didn't even make it in there. Where, where are you walking to? In there? Into here! And I literally made it to right here. Look how much of a changed person he is. Something threw a rock at him and he's just going back in. No one even asked him to. Like... <laughs> I'm, I'm getting more and more interested. The rock just kept rolling. I just yeah. heard the confidence in your voice as you said you're gonna go talk to Satan. <laughs> yeah, I, that is what I said. Oh my god, that's exactly <laughs> what you said. <laughs> Oh, that should have been, that should have been on camera. <laughs> that, that was genius. <laughs> <laughs> Will we do a few Carlos, Dana? Yeah, go really quiet because we need to get the sounds up here. We need to... Yeah. Should we do quiet with lights off? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, because it still sees everything, even the lights off. So is this. Nice. Okay, if there is anything in this building with us, do you want to give us a sign? Do you want to move something? Can you do this somewhere in the building? There's like a stick figure dancing on your head. Me? Yeah. yeah. The top of the, the top of the landing, right there. Yeah. Actually, is Tina? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's just above her. Yeah. Can that screen record? I can use my phone. Oh, yeah. Mon, if there's something up, gone. if there's something up yeah. here with me now, do you want to come down the stairs? It just disappeared. I gotta say, whatever's in here is incredibly elusive. Well, it's like it almost knows exactly when the cameras are facing what. Yeah. As soon as you went to pull out your phone, it disappeared. It went away. Yeah, it was like taunting us, like the top of the stairs, just like, come on, come up here. And come back, Corey. If you want me to go to the top of the stairs, can you meet me halfway again? Can you show yourself? Are we in danger in this building?
Give us a sign if you want us to leave. Okay, I don't want anything aggressive. But if the devil really did visit here, can you give us a tiny sign of your power if you're really here? Then I'll try this, see if we get anything on it. The box. Spirit box? Yeah. It's kind of Should we go in the room where? Yeah, we're going there if you want to. Yeah. Okay, are there any members of the Hellfire Club here with us tonight? Do you want to say yes? I'll fucking you say close. <laughs> Huh? I thought you were gonna say close. <laughs> My boy. Devil. Devil. We all heard wow. that. Wow. Devil. You. Devil. You. Spoiler asked the obvious question. Are you the devil? Say the devil again if you're the devil. Did you hear that? Oh. Are we in danger in this building? What's your name? Say that again if that's your name. Is your name Michael? You guys hear that? What bass was that? Dude, it sounded like, in like a very deep, bassy way, it said Michael and then a growl. Like it was like, Michael, hmm. You ever really want to answer the next question people ask? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you heard it say that too? If we leave Colin here on his own, are you going to show yourself to him? Two seconds. You know, two seconds? Two seconds. I thought that said two seconds. Yeah. Don't ask a question, man. Yeah. What if that question's already been answered? What do you mean? <coughs> what do you mean? For you to stay in this room. So don't beat around the bush, get yeah. to stay. Come here, Corey. Good thing I pulled my phone out. No one. What? No one's standing there. <gasps> it's not me. Where's Corey? Which one is Corey? That's Corey, Corey in the blue. In the blue, yeah. Oh, right what? beside ya. That's it. Yeah. Gone. When was that? Just now? Mm -hmm. yeah. While you're doing the spirit box. When you read up, you heard devil. Now is the perfect time. Yeah. To so leave that. Uh -huh. Ryan, shut the f up. <laughs> Can you handle it for five minutes? Nah. Ten. Rem pod? Uh huh. And either the camera guy with me? Uh, no. Oh, or that's cheap. Or. <laughs> or Matt. <laughs> camera guys are people. <laughs> camera guys are people. You and Matt each in different rooms opposite of each other. No, Perfect. that's not meeting in the middle at all. That's you not being in here by yourself and him not being in here by himself. Wait, if I stay here by fair. myself, could you guys just stand it's out so the door? It's not all about you. Well, well, that that it would be all about me. What's that outside? Outside the building? We'll hear, yeah. we'll hear your screams. You know what happens when you run? You grab you. You run into the wall. <laughs> no, oh, grab you. grabs you. <laughs> Do you want devices or no? Just give me a room pod. Which one? Uh, yeah. Do you want a temperature one? The new one? We haven't had that one go off yet. Yeah, we've never had that one go you off. The music really. box. <laughs> and the music box. I mean, okay. You're going to have so much fun. Yeah, I'm so excited. You are. Yeah. You look excited. I can't wait until 10 minutes from now. Oh, so you, you did say 10 minutes. Huh? So you just did your 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. No, no, because it's going gonna to take like three to set up. It's going to take like two to prepare. And then, oh, like, but we never told you. Yeah, so 10 minutes. He's but we never told you. I can't wait. Irish 10 minutes is totally different than the American one. Time's slower. Don't blink, yeah. It's time. The time difference. It's an hour. It's an hour. They talk faster, but the time is slower. Yeah. So, are, you, are we taking it that this is your pass for the trip? Yeah. Uh, the whole downstairs is cameras, except for the back room where you got touched when we first got in here. Interesting. First time that's gone off. Ever. Yep, brand new device for us. Ever. 
Oh, it didn't go off at all yesterday. That's Joey, right. never mind. We kept trying to get it to. Yep. I'm not close enough for it. Dude, they're both going off. I think we should leave. That could have been you, man. That sucks. Could have been you. You could have made a cool I mean, one. It's still well, look. Okay, so depending on how this goes, maybe I'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> but if he's getting hit with more shit, nah. <laughs> Go a little bit further away. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you're not new to this. I'm sure a lot of people come in here and always ask you to try to talk to them and communicate with them. So I just want to go ahead and ask a quick question. When I first walked in here earlier, did you or something throw a rock or an object at me? Can you make that device on the floor that beeps go off? Oh, I got mad shoes. Okay. I'm proud of him. I am too. Well, it's a good experience. I'm all for it. You would have seen how he started like three years ago. Yeah. Is that dapper? Right uh, oh, it's like a. Oh, no. Are there spirits and or demons stuck here? Or that just like coming here? I don't know if you guys heard that, but I just heard a hissing noise. It was like a very loud hissing noise. And it sounded like it was above me. Is this a demonic place? Is there anything here that wants to talk to me? Can you make that REM pod go off on the floor? Touch the antenna? For yes? I just heard the music box go off. The series of events, though, for him to be like, I'm gonna go meet Satan, and then immediately yeah. run, bolt upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. And then we hear on the spirit box, devil, as I have it. Did you just make that music box go off? Take that as a yes. That's my K2 that I'm holding now. Is there something in this room with me? Feeling a presence of something. Yep. Yep. Is it true that the devil came here? Is my K2 going crazy? Okay. Come on, can you make that device on the floor beep? Just touch the antenna. I th honestly, I don't. I think he'll be in there until we go get him. If you want me to refer to you as something else in the spirit, make the device go. Okay. So that's a yes. So if you're not a spirit, are you a demon? Music box went off. 
That device back there went off. K2 went off at least. In your hand? Yeah. At, at least six to ten different times. Six. Okay. It's well, only motion. The reason why I yelled for you was because I literally have no idea what it was. But I'm looking down like this, and as I look up, I just see something fast as f just fly up. Like fly su up. super tiny, just shoot up. My hands are like sweating so bad right now. So I asked it and I said, you know, are you a spirit? Are there spirits here? And it was like, it was nothing at all. So, both. Both. And so I said, and so I said, if you're not a spirit, do you want to refer to you as something else? Devices started going off. And I go, okay, are you a demon? As soon as I say that, I see something fly up. Okay, and there's the EMF going off on the 80 meter. <laughs> That's Whoa! Good. All three at the same time? It's staying. Old. One's brand new, one's old, and... Yeah. This is what happened the night, That's and it was in this room when everything kicked off all the devices. We're just going crazy? Crazy! That's like you were saying, remember when the Big Bang? Yeah. It's like the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. There's it's been so days weird. where this doesn't even light up one time. Yeah, the last night on the bed, it didn't move at all. Not once. So are you a demon? Is that K2? So it, it's the, it's the K2 beep. and that one back there. The little beep on that. Yeah, That's that. very subtle, like a uh, vibration or interaction. Yeah. It's still something. The little t -t 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 -t. Yeah. You are something because you're getting You're getting the interaction, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I was just asking you if you See? <laughs> this one's still over here with the last Now the thing is, I asked, you know, are there good spirits? Are there people that are trapped here? Mm -hmm. Nothing. But if I ever mention a demon, that's when it starts going crazy. There you go. See? You literally, as you said, good spirits, it turned off, and as you said, demon, it turned back on. Yeah. And you're there, definitely getting a reaction. And it was the same with the devil, remember, on the, the spirit box? Yeah. The Are there multiple demons in here with us? Or is this just one demon? Just one. This is why I love when we have nights where nothing happens. Because then it... Like, that did not go off at all last night. After no, but this... This... Has never we yeah, find, went we, off. We've yeah. had as well, and we've maybe, we've had years, and it's probably yeah. went off maybe four times. Yeah, and up here was one of the times. Yeah. Now well, we're up on the Dublin like Mountains. Yeah. There's no electricity around us. No. Just so you know, just there stop. is nothing around us. Doing oh, did you hear that? No, I completely like forgot. Did you hear that? Sorry. Did you hear the footsteps? Footsteps. footsteps? Yeah. Like, I had like a heavy boot. No. Did you hear that? No. I heard a hissing. Oh yeah? Yeah, there was a super, it was like... Okay. Music box. Yeah. Nobody out there. I just want to make sure that I'm right. Heard. That I'm right, right. Yeah, yeah. That it is motion that's doing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because there's a temperature gauge in it too. That's what I was saying. So see the little tiny... Oh yeah, the so Yeah. See where it's flashing? Yeah. So like, for, like for example, it's like someone tapping it. Mm -hmm. Like tapping again. Yeah. To the demon or whatever is in this room with us right now. Oh, you have that. Were you summoned here? Both heavy. K2 and Rimpod? Oh, that's going off again. Holy sh! Dude, all three are going off again at the same time. Dude, K2 was just staying on right. What, what did you uh, just ask? Oh, you want me to if it was summoned here. Whoa! So the yellow light? Yeah, I've never even seen that. Yellow on blue? I've never seen yellow. That one was on blue. Or it was, it just went away. Would you prefer when there was only one person in here? Or would you rather feed off the energy of multiple? Is it true the devil came here? What was that? Was that one of y'all? No, I heard yeah. that there again. Yeah. This is. Dude, that was a loud bang. Yeah. 
Like the whole time out there. Is it true the devil came here? Is it true that the devil came here? But it's sat right in the room. If you're outside in the hall now, do you want to come in through the door? Come on, come in through the door. We heard something out in the hall. One of the little devices we have on the floor here. Why don't you touch the top of it, see if you can make it go off. Sixty second experiment. Hmm. We'll all just leave you in here again and see what happens. <laughs> I'm just really curious to see if we all leave and if it's just all <coughs> again. We'll be like right there. I'm just if you don't have to, but I'm just really where, where would you say like just where outside again? Just outside where you can't see us in the windows. Uh, I'm really curious to see if like we would thirty seconds. Sure. Okay. Alright. Okay. K2, immediately. Alright. It's only me again. And so are we doing 30 Mississippi alligators? Or 30 Mississippi Tennessee 30 alligators? Huh? 30 Bally Gallies. 30 Bally Gally Mississippi alligators? One Mississippi Bally Gally alligator. alligator. Two, alligator. Two, Mississippi Two Mississippi Bally Gally alligator. <laughs> Three Mississippi Bally Gally alligator. Three Mississippi Okay. One, One Mississippi, Mississippi Bally Galley alligator. It's just me in this room. Can you make those? What the f was that? Five Mississippi Bally Galley alligator. Six Mississippi Bally Galley alligator. If that was you that just made that noise, could you make these devices go off? Mississippi Valley Galley Yo. Alligator. Window. That, whatever that is right there, just moved. Shouldn't be anything there. Shouldn't be anything there. And it just, it, it just was halfway out of the window and then went right back. You want me to go to a different room? What is that? Elton. Elton. You don't have anything up there? Take a play. Take, take a, a picture. Take a picture. Right there. What would that be? Yo, I just keep hearing like bangs right outside the room. Where? Right at the entrance, like where the stairs are. I think. It's I, crazy. I, you know what's even more bizarre? What? I just moved this away from there. The, this was a, the music box and, and the <laughs> camera was originally set up there. And now it's going crazy. So we would have caught that. But again, I moved the camera. Well, maybe that's why it's doing that. Was it the camera's moved? Was it going off? That was the first time it went off. Okay. Yeah, I literally just moved the camera away from there. But Matt just got something on the thermal upstairs. What? Yeah. Interesting. Nothing should be lit up in there at all. There's no heat. And no equipment. Yeah, first noise I heard, literally, literally, Sounded like someone was holding a flip flop and just smashed the wall with it. And it was loud. Belt. Or a belt. Yeah. What happened, Corey? So, pretty much, none of the devices went off, obviously. I'm standing right here, from right over there, either by the stairs or that little entrance. Sounds like someone smacked the wall with like a shoe or like a belt. Like it was just like a smack, like leather hitting it. Yeah, it sounded like leather. When was this? Probably 20 seconds after you all left. Oh, so, we so were, then we were maybe three we were Valley, Mississippi Valley Valley alligators. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I heard another pebble fall. Then I heard another noise, like kind of sounded like either like a bang or maybe like a footstep from out there. So then I yell for Elson. As soon as he walks in, remember nothing's going off. I immediately tell him I heard a noise out there. I think there's something out there. That starts going crazy. Rampart Rampart starts beeping again. So now it's a five five five. I think no, but dude, it's been at five 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 the whole time. I think it wants us to literally like 
go upstairs. Because of all the thuds, the knocks. Matt, what did you see upstairs? Oh yeah, there was something in the window that was just staying there. What do you bright. mean? I was, I was looking into the windows with this, and there was a bright square, there was like a bright square circle, hard to tell the shape, whatever, but there's nothing up there. In the window? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing, there's no equipment, there's nothing should be heated up there. I think it wants up to go upstairs, dog. Mm -hmm. Do you want to communicate with me? 
Step over to the center of the room again. So 
with black hair. But apparently somehow I just either got a hair in my mouth or somehow swallowed one of my own hairs. God. <laughs> That's very weird. As we're talking about the cat. And then he goes off right when I say that. Is the king of hell here? With us? This is night three of 13 from our UK and Ireland series. Ancient Ram Inn, Pendle Hill, Poltergeist House, Loftus Hall, and many more are still to come. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel where we are dedicated to everything paranormal, spooky, mysterious, unsolved, who knows what's out there, good kills in the middle of the night. Those lights just change color and that's really cool. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> We're still in our series where we've already been to Northern Ireland. We went into Ireland for the Hellfire Club and now we are finally in the UK. We're in England. Tonight we're at the Hellfire Caves, which is a continuation of everything that happened at the Hellfire Club, but it happened right here. There's even rumors that Benjamin Franklin was here. A lot of also dark and rumored satanic things have happened here. Uh, so we're gonna be meeting up with a guy that's gonna be giving us the history. We're also joining up with a psychic medium who's going to be cool. helping us communicate, which we haven't done in a very long time. Yeah. But as promised, because we're out here, there's the three of us, we normally film with four. We're bringing in a special guest. His name is Dan, he's otherwise known as Exploring with Fighters. Dan, come on in. Get in. Come on in. Nice to meet you. Glad you. Glad you invited me. Although, I don't know what I've got myself into here. No. I don't know. All right, and then do you want to introduce the next person joining us? All right, guys. Today, we have a very special guest. You might know him as Jack. Cut that out. Get in here, Jack! <laughs> Wait, like seven away? Yeah! <laughs> what did you just say? What does that mean? Wait, like did he just cast like... a whole shadow on you? <laughs> Jack's <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> Jack, so mean in person. Yeah, this is much better. <laughs> well, if you don't know, Jack is actually our editor. This is, we met him for the first time a few hours ago. So if it weren't for him, you probably would have gotten 10% of the videos you have yeah. over the last year. So. All right, well, should we head on in? You've never been here, right? I've not. No. And you've never been here. 
myself. Okay. <laughs> no, he's actually scared. All right, well, I think if we head on in, they've already killed the lights for us. Uh, we have it entirely to ourselves, by the way. There's no one else here. Uh, they closed the gate, so we're the only ones. Uh, it is a half mile that we're going underground right now. Okay. So once we go in, we don't come out. Come on. All right. I'm a little freaked out now, though. You don't know when we leave? No. We're just getting locked in, and then we I, just we figure it out? I think we leave kind of whenever Are we, we get locked in when we want to leave. In our previous episode, we visited the Hellfire Club of Dublin, Ireland, known for its demonic paranormal activity due to the torture, torment, and years of satanic rituals and sacrifices that took place there. Yet tonight, we are visiting the location that started the infamy of the Hellfire name and all of the evil that was born from it nearly 300 years ago. Formed in 1746 by Francis Dashwood, the Hellfire Club operated with the motto, Do What Thou Wilt, which had no limitations, whether legal or moral. As their acts and immoral ambitions became more severe, they were in need of a location equally as secluded. The Hellfire Caves are a hand-carved cavern system just outside of London that stretch over 1,000 feet long underground. With numerous chambers and secret passageways, the furthest room, the Inner Temple, is known for the darkest activities and lies far from any other living souls in a place where no one could hear or find them. Where the Inner Temple was built is no coincidence. To get to it, you must cross an underground river they titled River Styx, with the name coming from Greek mythology, named after the river that separated Hades from his return to the mortal world. And once you have crossed the line between mortality, the inner temple you have entered is directly beneath St. Lawrence Church. The church above you represents heaven, and the chamber buried beneath the surface, where no screams could be heard beyond those inflicting them, was hell. Even the entrance to the cave itself looks as though it mocks a gothic church. The difficult labor to build the cave system was for the sole benefit of the malicious activities and the privacy held by the Hellfire Club members. It is even believed that Benjamin Franklin was once a visitor of the Hellfire Caves, but any records that may have proved this were all burned days before the collapse of the club. Member gatherings were held twice a month where they practiced dark magic, performed rituals that utilized sacrifices, and executed many other horrendous acts. Women were often secretly escorted into the caves, while their vision and identity were hidden underneath a white gown. Others were murdered here as simply part of a practical joke. We do not know the details of everything that took place in the caves, but we do know that it has documented poltergeist activity, shadow figures that watch you as you wander, spirits that like to play games, and paranormal entities intelligent enough to negotiate a deal to take a person's soul, if only for an evening. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. And if you hear or see anything during this video that we do not, please leave a comment and let us know. Oh my god. Hey, what? There's an actual letter from Benjamin Franklin. Sir Francis Dashwood. Oh, Can shit. you read it? A letter from Benjamin Franklin to Lord Le Dispenser. Dated April 14, 1774, about revising the wording on the scroll attached to the statue of William Penn. I'll be honest, Corey, I heard that you have a, a better British I'll accent. go right ahead, maybe. Who heard... told you that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want biscuit? <laughs> you want biscuit? <laughs> Jack has to be the guy that says that now. What? I can't say do you want a biscuit anymore. Hello, sir. Hi, guys. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Elton, yeah. nice to meet you. Elton Paul. Hello. Matt. Matt. Hi, Matt. Hey, Corey. 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 Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Right, nice to meet you. Jack. Mighty head. Dan. Dan. You all right? Yeah. Okay, guys. You're gonna head over the point here. Were you just in here? I was just in here. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling in the caves. <laughs> the balls on the Brits. <laughs> Fantastic location. Are you prepared to be scared? Sure. That's good. We were at the Hellfire Club last night. So. Yeah. And yeah. it was terrifying. <laughs> this is gonna be worse. What? Yeah. Hmm. Poltergeist activity, rituals, ghostly figures, and right at the very bottom, we're gonna take you to hell. You guys been to hell before? I've been to Mexico. Not for a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's about as hot. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, lo loads and loads of sort of ghostly activity there. We've run ghost hunts down here many times. We've seen ghostly apparitions. Uh, we've had stones thrown at us from the um, the banqueting hall. So yeah, be, be prepared. It's on its night. This place is hell. All right. Well, we'll follow your lead then. Yeah. Okay, so if you imagine this was like the, the main sort of meeting place for the Hellfire Club, so it would be a great big table in here, maybe sort of uh, all quite sort of uh, plush. Um, what went on down here was sort of quite secretive. You mentioned earlier on Paul Whitehead. A Paul Whitehead was almost like what they call the steward. Um, now, three days before his death, he destroyed all the records. So we're left with sort of a lot of assumptions. What went on down here was sort of a lot of rich men, a lot of money, high society type people doing stuff that they shouldn't have been doing really. These little sort of cavey bits, the sort of cell bits, were where they would take sort of women for their own pleasure. Um, so there'd be lots of sort of, um, yeah, women brought down here, there'd be children brought down here, there'd be sort of sacrifices done. So you They were killing people getting these yeah, 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 yeah. They, 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 they were lawless, they were lawless. And it was all sort of done under, under the, the cover of, of, of this place. Myself and, and Bradley you met earlier, we had we'd actually got a group of people, there's a little small tunnel that goes around the back of there, and we sort of got ten of us down there, and all of a sudden we were being pelted by stones, and it was coming from this direction. So, okay, we thought we'd better put some control measures in here, we checked there was nobody in here, we sort of all held hands, Brad was on one end, I was on the other, and the stones were coming through the bars from, from Wait, the area. Wait, like these the bars? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, no way! Yep. Uh, another one. No, that just time. happened. Yeah. Wait, what? As you started, as soon as you started talking, we both just kept hearing yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's something. It's almost like you can almost sort of guarantee it's going to happen down here. And I just looked over um, to this, this sort of tunnel bit here on, on that side. And the way I can describe it is, you know, the neon neon tube lights. Yeah. When you crack. It, yeah. It's like an outline of a face. You, you all know what sort of guy forks, the sort of stereotypical sort of guy forks, what looks like with a sort of goatee beard. Yes, yes, yes. It was that that was looking back at us. Oh. And it was just like a red neon light tube. It's the only way I can describe it. It was just standing there. Just sort of standing. Nobody, nothing. Just almost like that. Just for sort of five, six seconds. And I sort of got to the point where about four other people sort of just caught it and they described it perfectly. I said, what, just tell me what you've seen. And they described it. Yeah, it's like an outline of a face in red. The church is basically heaven. And when we go with a small sort of underground river, they called it the River Styx, that's when you're stepping into hell and you're directly underneath the church there. So they believe that heaven ah. was the church and hell was so where, the, so where the church went. is further down now. Yeah, and that's where they carried out their sort of their chants and their sort of um, pagan rituals, if you like, and their sacrifices. You can hold hand carved. Wow. They all were hand carved and then they built it. No machinery. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> the ghost hunting team for the renowned living TV program Most Haunted carried out an overnight vigil within the caves during December 2003. They said the caves were the darkest place they had ever visited. During the night they had many paranormal experiences, seeing light orbs and hearing noises such as babies crying and stones hitting gates. Without prior knowledge of the mysterious Hellfire Caves, Derek Achora, the medium, felt the presence of a young girl dressed in white. Ladies of the night were said to have worn such attire to disguise themselves whilst entertaining club members in the caves. The program was first shown on April 20, 2004. Since then, the caves have had many overnight vigils carried out by other paranormal investigations team. None have left disappointed. So they did it with, uh, else with us, highly advanced technical oh, no, gear, which we have, and a medium, which we also have. Hold and up, overnight, where, where, and without where, lights. Where's the, there's no one else with us, is there? We're all here. Uh, everyone's here. Footsteps. You, you heard someone see, walking like, down there. I swear. Yeah, I, looked, you, I swear. looked in there, I couldn't bet you He looked at me and was like, who's that? I was like, I don't know. No, we're all here. This is everyone. Yep. So, Jack, how does investigate... Oh, exactly, right? Now you know how it feels. Who? How do you feel about investigating this place by yourself? I mean, look at that. Yeah, okay, that's unnecessary. You know? that, 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 that that just answers the question that you just asked me. Really, I hate that I have to like angle the camera towards you. Yeah, like, we're, imagine, like, yeah, you're just yeah. a little too yeah. tall. So there's no one else here. No, we just like scan the whole thing. Yeah. Jack said he wants oh, to here. stay in here by himself. Oh, I heard. I, I also Jack, heard that. I, I heard that from up there. I heard that. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard it. I wasn't even in the room, but I heard that. What was that? That was. That was a lot. What was that? Look in there real quick, Evan. 
it's like, it's almost, it's almost, it's almost stuff you get. It almost like when you are sort of talking, they almost like trying to get your attention, and then mm. when you stop, it's like yeah, silence. Do you think it's more malevolent or just more like they're just like messing with people? I think they like messing with people. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Okay, this is the underground, uh, the oh, underground river. Wow. Okay. So as you guys probably know, water carries par paranormal energy. Paranormal activity is usually heightened around water. This is without exception. Oh yeah. This is a real river. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, where would it go to? If you it just flows under the hill. It's not flows under the hill. Does yeah. It go out yeah. into the city. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just goes, goes out into the uh, local sort of reservoir. So it sort of flows through. I feel like that girl from the ring is gonna. Jesus. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is basically heaven. Jack, you're this was heaven. This is heaven. <laughs> this is hell. Oh, so when you cross the bridge, or you then... cross the bridge. Yeah, um, you cross the river sticks. We're in purgatory right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not as hell. Again, right as you go under there, you're right above, uh, right underneath the church. So that was their their heaven. This was their hell, and this is where they did their sort of debauchery, sacrifices, their rituals, their chants. Um, yeah. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, this is it. Cozy. Oh. The fits are clean, though. Again, this to say, this is, this is, as we, as we come over the river sticks, this is where I've sort of, um, you went to hell. So, I don't know, it, in here you are sort of total darkness. You can't see that. It's mm. just, there's nothing. Prove it. Okay, what you tend to get down here when you, when you when you sort of bring people down in the dark is you know when somebody stands in your personal space like too close and you mm -hmm. want to back off you get that sensation constantly in here like someone's just around you yeah somebody's like walking up to you and looking at you really close oh my and they're God. sort of stepping back and then they go to the next person yeah it's almost like somebody sort of is like ah oh. like yeah yeah and then, then they back <laughs> off you what? Yeah. What? Yeah. what this is where all the, the, the bad happened the, the, the you know the sort of the sacrifices the pagan rituals the chanting um that that kind of stuff they sort of bring the the sort of people down here and they probably didn't come out alive whereas the in the banquet in was more the um the entertainment if you like the fun the fun kind of sort of <laughs> hellfire club where they sort of were drunk and debauchery and you know sort of uh, yeah help themselves to the uh, the women any any like estimates on how many people died down here or anything it's completely yeah unknown? Yeah, Paul Whitehead basically destroyed, spent three days destroying all the records. Um, and that, that was sort of his, his sort of uh, legacy to the Hellfire Club, if you like. Are there anybody buried down here? Like There are still remains of people that um, sort of fell foul to the ways of the Hellfire Club, still remain down here, yeah. yeah. What? Okay. So, I didn't know someone ran into the wall. I totally just heard like a very loud scooting noise. And I turn around, and as we're walking out here, I just did a quick that, and then went back, and I swear, on the first turn. Yeah. On the first turn, probably like this high, it was just like, it kind of looked like something was lighting up back there. Behind us? But yeah, but as I did the double take, the second time I looked, there was nothing. But it was super faint. But it was only like this high. Mm. But, yeah, okay. Okay, we've had, a, we've had a quick tour of the location. Um, obviously we've had some, a little bit of activity already with a few sto sort of stones being pinged and um, as we got sort of further down there was definitely sort of footsteps something that goes on here quite a lot you do get followed um, they do try and get your attention um, now for me, for me just from experience of being here um, the, the cave itself the main banqueting cave if, if you're in there and you're sort of quite noisy and quite sort of loud that's when you tend to get the activity it's almost when you stop silent it's almost like they go silent but you start sort of talking and that you're going to get stuff thrown at you tonight um you're going to you're going to see shapes you're going to see uh, quite a lot of shadows moving around as we go further down um towards the um, the area um where suki is um just before you sort of cross the river sticks Again, there uh, in that sort of quite narrow tunnel, you you almost get um, quite a tall, dark um, energy 
uh, almost like a shadow man if you like and he he will sort of step up and step really close and be sort of quite menacing uh, and people want to sort of step back um, it's almost like he's in your personal space he's looking at you he's sort of sussing you out um, and then he'll sort of move on to the next person so if there's three or four of you down there you know you, you're going to feel like you're going to you're going to um, experience that with, without a doubt so yeah to me those are the those are the sort of two main areas to sort of focus on Oh my god, I'm just in the <laughs> door. Oh, how you doing, Matt? Good to meet you, Very nice to meet you. Pleasure. If anyone else can go upstairs. Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure. Down. Down. So you are white witch, psychic medium, healer? A little bit of everything, yeah. Okay. Uh, if it's to do with anything uh, weird and far out and uh, otherworldly. Obviously, I've done remote viewing, astral travel, and all kinds of weird stuff. But oh, from the witchcraft point of view, it's yeah, would be considered a white witch, working for the purposes of healing and good and for the light. How often are you here? Because I'm imagining if you're in more of the light form of magic and healing, this probably isn't a place that's known for that. Uh, well, no, not so much, no. But um, obviously, you need good protection. And whatever you do, I mean, for instance, I do exorcisms on uh, sitcoms and houses. But a lot of that times it's to do with geopathic stress, or you've got issues um, with sick house syndrome. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons why a house can get sick or a place can get sick. So then what you find is you'll have people attracted there that are possibly of a similar disposition to the sickness that's going on. And that's probably, in my opinion, how you get something creative like this in the first place. I think you might be the first person we've ever met that's done an exorcism. Yeah. Right? The exorcisms, yeah. On, on, on buildings. So like a room cleanser, in a way? Yeah, we do a whole home. Um, most places that have an issue with, with spirit energy or ghosts or hauntings tend to be either built over underground running water or very close to running water. Um, I've been, we've been out with friends, used to work in Leeds, and uh, we've gone out for a few drinks and a night out, and they didn't tell me that they had uh, spirits in the home that were troublesome. I sat in the car and all of a sudden I just felt this force on my hand, my palm, and I looked down and there was just a big black square in the palm of my hand and it was like a bruise, a big bruise. Yep. And I uh, spoke to them the next day and then it sobered up. Uh, and it was like, oh yeah, we didn't tell you we've got a problem in the house. Apparently there is a little girl who plays upstairs in the courtyard and she comes out when the place is being closed in the night. Mm -hmm. um, she'll kind of, uh, it looks like she's either from the Victorian times or, or uh, slightly earlier than that. But she's not necessarily Coming out to see children. Where do you think would be the most activity? Probably down, just down towards this tunnel here. Toward hell. Towards the river sticks. Yeah. No. Style. Not. <laughs> I don't know, but North Face. You're dressed like angels. Totally style, bro. You look like a Kmart catalog. <laughs> yeah. <I'm okay. laughs> All right. We'll follow his lead, and he'll create the divide. All right. So we're gonna take the uh, dividing line through the middle again. And can you make us unprotected? If you like. Yeah. <laughs> this half, we want to have no protection. So whatever might be here. And then that side can be safe. Fair and enough. I'm curious to see. Yeah, if anyone gets in trouble, I'll come and help out, obviously. Sure. By the way, is this is this about the area that you could see the man being strangled? Yeah, it'd be around here. Which side would it be on? Uh, it'd be right, pretty much right here, just before where the river is. So your side. Yeah. <laughs> so our side. That's your side. <laughs> but one of many, I'm sure. Whatever you'd like to do to create the divide. 
Let's go ahead. Yeah. Let's <laughs> stand stand ready. Yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna in case the uh, safe side. Yeah, 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 the divide too big. Draw that and down. And, uh, um, so if you do get freaked, you can always just go through the curve, mm. come back to the safe side. Is that all we have to do if, if we just go? Yeah, like just imagine you're, just you're yeah. pushing through the curtain and coming oh back right, through right. to safety if you do feel that there's anything there. So, uh, right, so that's little now, that's really, that's that's there. And I'm going to step back from it now and just let it fall closed before me. And uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, we're going to go to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun in your... Studio we're gonna, apartment. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go watch Kobe play, and Prince is gonna do a concert after. So. Yeah, have fun. We should do a trade because I have all the tools and you have nothing. What percentage of your soul for a REM pod? Ooh. 0. 0.3 what Ethereum. What about one percent of his hole for? 0.3 Ethereum for a REM pod? It's actually took a thousand. It's actually a thousand bucks. Took a thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, what Ethereum's 3600 today. Oh, my bad. What do you want, my left shoe for a rim pod? Oh, look who you just crossed over. I'll go. Oh, look who's in hell. Go in hell real quick. Here we go. I got you. Be right back. I'll be right back. What are you doing over there? I'm getting the rim pod. I'll give you 50% of TFIL. TFIL sold? We sold that all the time. What do you got? I'll do a music box. Yep. Um, A rem pod. Yep. And a flashlight. Okay. That's what's up for grabs. What's your best offer? Your vaccine card. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? No. I'll leave Matt in a room by himself. What the f In heaven? <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes on your own. 30 minutes? I like the negotiation. That's a good 30. one. 30? No, make, make it 40. Make it 40. What? what? Oh. How about we meet in the middle? 15. You're the only person in the entire cave system. No, what the? Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. That's absolutely a good one. not. The entire no. What's your counter? Absolutely What's your not. counter? Corey and I are the only ones in the entire cave system. No, no lights whatsoever. What? <laughs> how long? Though? Yeah, how long, Jack? How long? You set the terms. I reckon a solid forty minutes. You can say months. <laughs> <laughs> I got that much time. Music box. Mm -hmm. Flashlight. Mm -hmm. Thermal. For 25 minutes. For 25 minutes. I think it's a good deal. But this, is this after we've already... No, Elden, no, no, no. Elden, you're coming to heaven. You're coming to heaven. Join Jesus, Elden. Oh, oh, oh. It's off. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. 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 Oh, oh, oh.
keep we'll remember that. Down. Okay. We'll see you guys in the bathroom in like a half hour. Good. Okay. We'll move the table before the entrance there. You wanna do that? Yeah. <laughs> if it falls, then we gotta get get it somehow. Like that? Yeah. Yo, there's literally nothing there. You can try, yeah. We don't mean you any harm. We'll go soon, I promise. I promise. We won't be here too long. We're just here to meet you. Is that you making the music box go off? Does he That's not want us here, or does no, something no. else not want us here? He, he doesn't want us here, he's I think he, he's, he seems like quite a solitary type of chap. I can see that. So, yeah, he's like, no, no, no. Don't, it's, don't like people around. He's not threatening us, he's just saying, you can leave whenever you want. Yeah. Just leave me around. Yeah, he's down the tunnel. He's down the hall. Is he down the hall? He's gone down the tunnel too, but... To wash his feet. That's the <laughs> first time it's ever gone off for that long. This is the only device that I'm like very skeptical about. But the theory behind it is like spirits have energy. They can use the energy through this device and trigger one of the words that's programmed into it. Because there's 150,000 words logged into it. Okay. And then that's the theory is that they can trigger a particular word. Sometimes it goes off very frequently, and sometimes it never does. Right. Um, like right off the bat, saying. Yeah. Okay. Which is weird because it's actually pretty accurate to say a manual task. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty. What are the words? Uh, the first one was manual and then task, which this <coughs> entire place is built by hand. An apocalypse. Mm. And Could be on this one. Yeah. If there are any spirits in here that do want to communicate with us tonight, could you turn that flashlight off? Thank you. If you're still in this room with us and you still want to talk to us, can you turn the flashlight back on? No way. A hard click. A hard click. Dude. Yo. That is ridiculous. Turn off on cue, on on cue. Thank, thank you so thank much for communicating with us. This is your chance. No veil, no protection. We're sat here willingly open. Come and get us. Yep. Um, if you're a man, can you 
can you turn the light on for us? If you're an adult, will you please turn the lights off again? If you're a child, leave it on. If you're an adult, turn it off. Please. to get in contact with us. A spin. Make it bleep twice if you're here with us. If you're a spirit or even if you're a demon or something evil. Does that mean no? What does that mean? That means it's sat on it. By shop, is that you sitting in the window shopping for which one of us you want to choose? Alright, just like how I do, ready? We can get the light and that. Incredible. You can take the energy and the battery from that light and use it to touch the device that we just put next to it. If you do want to talk to us, can you touch that new device? If you'd like for us to leave, will you touch the device? So it's just a flashlight. It's a mag light. Oh, is it the one that they can twist? Exactly. Oh, right. So just right in between. And you actually have to have some level of force. Yeah. To yeah. Turn that off. Yeah. Or like some kind of energy that can bridge the, the magnets yeah. together. Because it doesn't ever twist it. You know, you don't see it twist. But yeah, you can finish the connection. Why 
would it do this? Is there something moving? <laughs> Yo, it literally stopped when you just put your hand on it. Do it again. Yeah, literally. I'm literally like blocking it entirely and it's still going off. That was the flashlight? Yeah. yeah. That was the flashlight. I kind of hate that being on because you can see it. If this is a new tool for you, I'm sure you figured out that if you take your energy away from it, you can turn it off. Oh my god. I heard that. That was impressive. You figured out that tool really quickly. You turned it on the second I put it there and you turned it off as I explained it. I'll leave the cap on and use the box. Yeah. Can you leave my flashlight here? Yeah, I got it. Alright, we're going to go walking down this hall now. If you want to follow us, you can. We're only here to find out if there is possibly life after death. Whether or not you get trapped or the heinous crimes you committed were or if you choose to live wherever your most beloved place was. So if you could, you're ahead of the curve. <laughs> Is there anybody here who'd like to communicate with us? Here. I swear something was just rubbing up against me. If you are an evil, nasty spirit or demon, then turn the light on. If you don't know what kind you... That's three times in a row it's like answering before we can even finish the sentence. I was gonna ask if they know which one they are. Mm -hmm. Or if they know that they're dead. That makes me dead. Actually a good question. Never thought to ask that one. Whether or not they even realize. I feel like we need the light bulb. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't make this one. Just about saying we need the light bulb. I've never seen this before. Do we have the audio recorder? I can get it. I've never seen this before. Isn't that wild? That's, that's insane. what I'm saying. It's like so. It's holy. Sh it's like very responsive. It's like not even responsive. It's like it already knows exactly. Intelligent. What mm. But you gotta think there's there's something stood that. Okay, I hope I just to touch the arch like that. Because I just saw something. Wait, isn't that exactly what David said? That by dropping the veil, it allows the entity to get inside of us. What? No, don't start with that. No, I mean, that's what David said. He was saying that by like, removing the protection... It I'm can, not having a demon coming out. It's answering every question before we can even ask it, as if it already knows. How would it know what we're going to ask if it wasn't already in our head? This is going to worry me if it answers it. Do you want to take over our bodies? Oh, Seriously. I met you like three hours ago. <laughs> <This> nah. <laughs> Where's that fire exit? Seriously. I don't think I signed up for this. <laughs> if 
you like the sound of that music that was playing earlier, you can just walk down the hall towards that box we have set up on the table and it'll play music again for you. That was not a bet. That ball's going off in there. In the other room. In the other room. Go off again, go off again. Where is it? It's still see, see the light flashing? Can you pick that up on the camera? No. It just stopped. After that. Go After the that door. Yeah, go that, that, go that go way. The, go the far away. Do you not want to live again? Because you prefer living in hell. You prefer being in the underworld. This is... Yo! So, so, so. It was just like, like a, a flutter, like a type of noise. It, just was to call it could have been. But I haven't seen any bats this deep in the cave. If you're playing with us, we have a device on the other side of this cell. And if you touch the antenna, it'll make a beeping noise. Are you asking for one of our permission to enter one of our minds and souls? Is that what you want? Is that what you need? Are you too weak to do it yourself? Or you need the help? shopping and now we're figuring out that it's trying to get one of us two two uh, younger children ah. that have been down here recently my spirit both boys both boys only like 12 13 now I think they send us uh, practicing mischief on us ah. they like the lights and they're probably not used to it no. yo uh, Whoa. Bro, it just went on and off three times. You haven't set off the device by the door in a while. This one, I'll give you a reminder. If you can come closer and set that off again, I'll give you permission to try and do whatever it is that you want with me. The other device. Maybe it doesn't have enough energy. If I'm going to allow something to try and take over my mind or body, I need to prove that you have enough intelligence and power to do so. Turn off the flashlight and set off the REM pod. And you'll have proven yourself. Step one. If you can make that device beep by the gate again. We're not messing with this is something serious. Down here. Get the f 
out. Bro, that has strength. Where is that? That that man needs to get down here because I'm not having things. Yeah, I, 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 there's a shadow in there. Behind the black, behind the black figure, something just walk, walked across. There's a black figure right in, right in front behind the, behind the lady, and something went across the back of it. The deal's a deal. Come on forward. Are you sure? For the record, crazy shit I've ever gotten. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You've seen every video. I've never <laughs> seen this. Do you like the lights? Can you turn the flashlight on again for us? Oh my. This is all right. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, it's okay. We like playing games with you. Yeah. Do you maybe want to toss some rocks? Do you want to pick some pebbles up and see who can throw the furthest? You can go first. Okay, if you prefer the light. <laughs> so, okay, so how we can play the game is leave the flashlight off, please, and whenever the answer is yes, turn it on and then back off again, okay? <laughs> okay, question number one. Are you a little boy? Are you a little girl? Are you a grown man? You do realize when Matt and Corey come down here, you can't say anything. Well, I can't, but it'll sound like, oh, you're actually gonna hide. <laughs> huh? You're actually gonna hide. If I could open the gate, I'd come closer. You have permission to try what you wish. I will admit, you might be the most intelligent entity we've ever met. You were able to control two different devices at will. Can you give us a sign that you're still here? I swear to God, I saw You saw something, right? Yo. Alright, so I swear to God, I saw something too much right now. See how the light green over the wall? Yeah. I watched it like cut the black and the blue two dots. Oh, you're still here. You're still here. Okay, okay. It's like flashing on and off. Okay, you have our attention. We just want to ask you some questions. Can you answer them the way we ask you, please? Okay, okay. Do you want me in the room with you where all the sacrifices were made? Can you step to the gate one more time and set off the device? I do not believe anyone has been let back there in over 50 years. That wasn't worth it. You can set up the device. We'll go and find the key. And you can have me in your chambers for whatever you'd like. Is it true that hell is located directly under the church, deeper into the tunnel? Shall we go down there? I know we're asking a lot for you, but I'm offering equally as much. Are you kidding me? What the f is going on? We're getting the key. 
Get the f out. This is insane. To alternate and go back and forth. All right. They really want you in there. We're going to try and get the key. Paralysis. Paralysis. <laughs> Bro, paralysis. Never heard that word pop up on the obelisk before. So do we leave you here and go get the key? <laughs> what? What the f I mean, what the f just happened? Yeah. Beware, warrior. Might maybe, too. Maybe they're on about effort to be well. I think this, I think what we're messing with is a warrior. Well, Evan's on the safe side now. I don't even want to look at him. Grill. You'd have to worry about down there. It's what's in there. I'm curious. I wonder if we crossed over. If this would stop. If we like once we left to the other side. We should try. I'm really curious to see if that'll stop going off. It's like he's stuck there and not wanting to sleep. That's what I'm saying. And, and if David's accurate in his description, then what he put up here is a veil that the entity in there couldn't see through. Which means it could no longer see us. Why did Evan just do that? Yeah. Yo. Hmm. What happened? Sorry about it. Huh? So, uh, notice what side we're on? Yeah. Cool, stay on this side. What? Did something crazy happen? Dude, Evan literally what happened? gone. Wait, wait, what happened? Evan's running right now to get something. Who's behind you? Holy is that? Oh my god, I forgot David was here. Oh, god. Dude, I was like, I don't recognize that face. Dude, Evan didn't Wait, say so a word what? to us. What is he going to get? What happened? Hey, he didn't say Does somebody else want to have a go? Sure. sure. I can try. It's the right key. When was the last time anyone was in here? Uh, last week. Like for staff or like non staff? Non staff. Look at um, that. The, the guy went open for me. Uh, careful of the room pod because it pushes in. Just mind your fingers. Um, we don't normally let people in here. All right, gents, I'm opening up the, uh, the gate to hell. All right. All right, we're giving you exactly what you asked for. Should I close this behind me? Yeah. Yeah, just to be like extra creepy. Go have fun. No, you're gonna be a long to go. Yeah. Shut up. Everyone's gonna check the door and we'll make it. Oh, I don't like If you want. Pretty sure the lock and key is still. Where'd the lock and key go? Right here. Well, up to you. Oh, look, look, cat balls. Cat balls are off. Look, that's a flashlight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Dude, look at that. What the f is going on in there? Is it still going on? You the music box, too? I did. The cat ball's still the going on. The music box, the music box, too. Okay, we gotta go up there. The cat balls are going crazy. I just had a heart attack. That's the flashlight, dude. You do have the flashlight. I have it. Dude, the cat ball's still going on. Because I'll know, innit? Yeah. Awesome, that's how you do it. This is the one on the other side. That's not us. Ryan, no joke, you gotta get up here, dude. Look, stand up, we're standing over here. Stand, like, get out of the hole. It's going down, down the hallway. It was going up, we can come this way. Come on, Ryan, this way. All right, we gave you exactly what you wanted. You showed us your abilities. And we 
we got the key. So if you'd like to make your presence known again to make sure that I am still in here with you. You have the flashlight still on the gate. You now have a motion sensor light in the center of the table. Give us a sign that you're still here. We want to make sure that we're not speaking to nothing and to no one. Huh? Thank you. Now there's one more device here in the center that only one time ever has gone off. And it takes a tremendous amount of power. If you can set that one off, everyone that watches this video will know that one of the most powerful entities we've ever encountered resides right here. Is it just mirrors mm -hmm. in the back? Is it just mirrors in the freezing? I'm going to walk around the room where I am, when I am where you need me, you can make either device go off. Doing my best to help you Keep my promise. Was someone or something playing with our music box while we were gone? Do you like the sound of the music? Interesting. Interesting. If you want to, you can go stand or dance in front of the music box again. I know it'll make the music start playing. That's a hard on. That's not like. Yeah, that wasn't no little flicker. Yeah. I don't know what era you're trapped in, what time or what space or what you see that's different than from what I see. But I'm sure you had your tools, your weapons that you would use on your victims on a table in the center of the room. So go ahead and reach for one. If you did it before, you could go from one device to the other. You've used the flashlight, now go to the table. Turn the flashlight off if you want us to play the music box for you, if it's taking too much energy out of you to do it. Okay, all right, so we can play it. Okay, we'll play it for you for a little bit, okay? You can turn the flashlight back on if you like that. As soon as it started playing, the light came on. Dude, that's amazing. Should we move this maybe in front of the light? No, it's something's in the hall. I mean, it's possible that this is what it wants, but it doesn't have the energy to give it like the power. Yeah, maybe it's right on. Okay. Or maybe you're too strong minded for it. It's possible. Last chance. They really did lock it. <laughs> you evil <laughs> Did you expect any less? Last <laughs> chance. This is heavy. Let's see. Alright. You have the key. Five demons. <laughs> or hello, little. Little child demon. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, 
Let's go find the other. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. This is a very special video. We actually left the UK, so Dan is still in the UK and Matt was already scheduled to go back home, but we had an opportunity to come back to Ireland for Loftus Hall. Ghost Adventures did an episode here, I believe quite a while ago. The history here is tied into the Hellfire Club, but significantly worse. And that's saying a lot. If you know anything about what would happen, the sacrifices, the rituals at the Hellfire Club, yeah. There is a place here known as the Devil's Bedroom. There's also the Devil's Door, and there's also the Devil's Poker Room. And it is not for coincidence that it has that name. They truly and firmly believe that the Devil visited here. Here. For a multiple week long stay. Yeah. And they didn't know it was the Devil. Until he impregnated the daughter. And that did not end well either. Yeah. But what's even more remarkable and the reason why we made sure we came back here and had time for this is we are going to be the last people to ever film here, ever. It's already sold. They might be changing out the keys literally anytime during filming this video. They don't yeah. know when, but it's already sold and it's being converted into a luxury hotel. They're changing the name and they're abolishing everything and anything that has to do with the paranormal. I mean, it's it's gonna be, that's gonna be a haunted ass hotel. Yeah. That hotel's gonna be haunted. But they'll never acknowledge it. They'll refuse to ever acknowledge it. That's crazy. So we'll be the last ones to ever be in here. What is inside this building, which I believe is somewhere near 100,000 square feet, three stories, 27 rooms, is absolutely remarkable. 27. And people would live here. Yeah. Like this was like their home. For nearly a thousand years, there have been different kinds of residents on this property, including Satan. Including Satan. Yeah. Yeah, he just came in for a casual six weeks, got caught in a storm, just knocked on the door and was like, hey. Knocked on the door, knocked up the daughter. <laughs> Dipped. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, actually. So if you saw the Hellfire Club video, we are joining up with Tina and Chris again of the mm -hmm. Paranormal Researchers of Ireland. They're yep. the reason why we're here. They're actually the keepers of the key here. Isn't well, they that were. insane? And Chris even wrote a book about this place. Yeah. So he knows everything there is to know. Yeah. And I'm excited to be here. Oh, me too, dog. Okay. And let's go talk to Satan. I don't want to talk to Satan. Let's go talk to Satan. Hi, Satan. Hey, Diablo. Hey, baby. I think it's 800 years old. What? No, 700. Oh, it's not that impressive. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 700. All right, let's go. You got it? Start a, no, no, start, start with your cheek first. Elton, I don't know if that yam's gonna fit through. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> good job, Elton. You did it, you did it. Now keep going. You can't. Is this, so is that how you open these? That's how it works, right? You can't push them open once the door touches the yam. In our previous episodes, we visited the Hellfire Club of Dublin, Ireland, and the Hellfire Caves in London, both known for its demonic paranormal activity due to the torture, torment, and years of satanic rituals and sacrifices that took place there. Yet tonight, we are visiting what may be the pinnacle of the most sheer evil the Hellfire Club could have ever summoned, a place isolated and monstrous in size, where anything a club member wished to bring to life or to death was possible. The place that led Satan himself to visit and stay for weeks on end. On the Hook Peninsula of Ireland, the original home was built in 1170 by a Norman knight and stayed in the family until the 17th century. Yet in 1350, the castle was expanded due to the Black Death and a need to create an isolated fortress. It then became a 22 bedroom, three story mansion sitting on top of 63 acres and hosting a wide variety of guests throughout the centuries. Yet in the year 1666, Henry Loftus acquired the home and renamed it to the infamous title it now carries, Loftus Hall. Starting in 1872 and for the next seven years without pause, the Loftus family put all of their funds towards 
renovating the mansion to the highest extent in anticipation of a visit from the Queen Victoria. A visit that would bring pride, glory, and recognition to the Loftus family. A visit that unfortunately never happened. Seven years of work and money that eventually left them in extreme debt. The Loftus family owned the residence until the 1890s when it was sold to relieve the family of their financial dues. From 1917 until 1935, it served as a convent for the Benedictine Order and eventually became the dormitory for the Sisters of Providence and the girls wishing to take their holy vows. These years involved changes to the mansion, including the addition of a chapel, a bountiful amount of crucifixes and Christian icons to make it suitable for nuns and holding mass. These same items that would mysteriously be destroyed in horrific and alarming ways throughout the years. In 1983, it became Loftus Hall Hotel until one owner passed away. Shortly after, the other mysteriously and suddenly left to never return. Loftus Hall sat vacant for nearly two decades, rotting away. No one was allowed inside. Today, it is solely used as a tourist attraction and for paranormal investigations. And in fact, tonight will be the last paranormal investigation to ever happen here, as it has been sold. The Loftus Hall, as we see it today, will be transformed into a luxury resort, where the new owners will never allow the stories of the past to be told again. So tonight, we will tell them one final time. The hauntings of Loftus Hall vary immensely and deeply, from victims of the Norman rule to the many that died here from the Black Death, soldiers from the Irish Confederate War, to the many times the castle was defended against, with one circumstance leading to 60 English soldiers being killed from behind, just on the back steps of the home. But of course, the story that led us here tonight is the fact that the devil himself not only walked through this door and sat at the poker table, but that he caught his seat and the roof above him on fire. A roof that has never been able to be fixed after centuries of trying. The details of the story will be told to us by Chris and Tina, fellow paranormal investigators and experts on the history of Loftus Hall. Tonight, we will be on the lookout for the daughter of the Loftus family, Anne, whose spirit is often seen and documented by visitors. Her fate was so dire that an exorcism was ordered upon the home and was found to be successful in all but one room. A room that could not succumb to the power of the Catholic priest. That same room was later found to have the remains of a small infant buried within the walls, suspected to be the child of Anne, the child whose father was suspected to be the hooved visitor, Lucifer. Two nuns have also mysteriously died on the grand staircase. Owners have mysteriously disappeared, daring not to speak ever of what they saw or experienced. Satanic rituals were reported here for nearly two decades, and every religious statue and icon has been disfigured without explanation. Crucifixes have been seen moving on their own, and apparitions have been photographed. Every subtle and extreme form of paranormal activity has been documented in Loftus Hall. But even beyond that, the sheer history and magnificence of this home was worth the last minute trip back to Ireland. Hey. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You survived that? Yeah, <laughs> somehow. We didn't mean to ignore you, but also, really cool. Kind of in shock. It, it has that effect on people. Yeah, because we haven't been to like a rustic abandoned place mm -hmm. yet. It's either been never lived in mm -hmm. or you know, like kind of that standpoint yeah. or fully lived in. Yeah. Well, this there's a lot of places in Ireland that you would find that are like this, but the OPW own them. So they're sort of done up and they're commercialized. And this yeah. one has been left. Uh, really, it's, it's very late. Well, they got two Italian brothers over from Italy to put the floor down. Um, back in the day, everything had to be unique. When they had finished putting the floor down to make sure that this would never be copied, did they, they kill them? No, chopped their hands off. That they, uh, these were really well-known tilers. They were famous for their work, and they chopped the hands off that they could never recreate this floor. So this floor is the only one they unique. They could like never work again. Never work again. In there, there's a dining room. In here is the card room. Use pick where you want to go. Where would you like to go first? Where do you want to go? I, I don't know. 
Oh wait, close your eyes. <laughs> yes. Put your finger out. Put your finger out. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Ow, ow. My man. Who do you think hit me in the eye? <laughs> there. Calvin, my eye. <laughs> oh, we're filming. <laughs> Wait, yeah, we should go to this room. I meant this room. That's where we're, I was... we're going back to sleep. <laughs> we're about to go on a date. We're going to the bedroom. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. 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 Wait. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Wait, who's saying yeah? Yeah. No. You know. No? Yeah. Do you know? No. No. Yeah. Do you know? No. 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 Yeah? Is this, is, I know a little bit about this place. Yeah. yeah. Is this where the devil? Boom. Yes. Here. Yeah. Why did we choose this room? Isn't that strange? That's pretty cool. Your heart led me to where the devil it all connects, you see? Um, you got something to tell me, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my memory's so good. Please. Continue. It's like my old kind of team music. <laughs> what, what'd you say? I can't. How far are we close? Okay. Yeah. 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 The Lost is again very proud family. The story was that Stormy Night. Slate Harbour is literally, remember we were down mm. It was probably five minutes away. That's it, yeah. Ship came in, docked, one person got off, seen the candlelights of Loftus Hall in the distance, dressed in all their clothes, and of course Loftus has been as proud as the world, they want to turn anyone away. Oh, we can welcome anyone in, we, we are rich, we don't have to turn in. Came into the house, the daughter of the family, Anne, was very besotted with this gentleman. We were playing cards one night, Anne was sitting, they say, over here. And they're just dealing cards, as you would. They were had a couple more guests with them. Dealing cards, next minute one fell on the floor, and Lady Anne at the time went to pick it up. And when she looked across the table, he had a cloven hoof for a foot. And apparently that was the the guys was up, so to speak, mm. burst into a ball of flames, and they say he went out through the uh, ceiling. I was going to say that looked like it burned. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a. Definitely an interesting building. I'm not going to say any more until we get to the next room. Yeah, because every room has, a <laughs> has its own. Yeah. To the story, but they do say that people that have had this house before have tried to fix the hole in the roof, um, and they can't fix it. So. I'm assuming the cards are here. And For that reason. People are meant to play. Yes. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We've had people leave this room, feel uncomfortable, just have to get out. Um, obviously, I'm not going to say names for confidential reasons. Um, people have seen dark figures literally walk over to the table. The table is actually been attacked. Yeah, the table vibrated one night. Um, the thing is, again, when we're doing investigation, we kind of stand back, step away because we don't want people to think that we're the influence and mm -hmm. what's happening or you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some people just don't like this room or literally the one next door, people either love or hate it. So this entire place, is it more of a demonic? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at the wallpaper. Dude, it's velvet. Yeah. What? Oh my god. That you was dear how, paper. That was, that was expensive. <laughs> you know how, like, what year the wallpaper I is from? I think it's from when it was the hotel. The ho yeah. This was a hotel in the 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, Mid-80s and uh, 90s. And before that, it was ran when by was. the Sisters of Providence. And um, it was 40 years. There was mass said here every day for 40 years. It was a, uh, and young girls and all came in to be trained as nuns or schooling or. There was a lady in here one night, and she said she was probably standing around here. She said somebody really ran at her from this corner and just stopped right there, and she just had to get out. Mm. The other interesting thing I'll say to you guys: we done another lockdown with the public as well one night. We split people into groups, A, B, C, whatever. And then on three separate occasions on the same night, three different groups and individuals came in here. When they came out, it goes, just something not right. It goes, what's the issue, or what do you think is? And it goes, just like something's crawling along the ground. Yeah, I've got that as well. Do you remember that? <laughs> and I goes, which will tell you how it links now in a couple of seconds. I goes, what do you mean crawling? Does it remind you of like a child or an infant or something like that? And it goes, definitely not. 
because whatever I had was like a claw trying to reach up and do not touch people or grab people or something like that. And that was on three occasions on the same night on three wow. different routes. Yeah. So they didn't know each other, these people, so they couldn't have went and spoke to each other and said blah blah blah. Yeah. Literally, they were people who didn't speak to each other who had the same experience, which I find that very relevant. Yeah. Wow. They weren't in the same group, they weren't mixing together. We we separate A, B, C. Yeah, yeah. So they're in yeah. different parts at different times. <coughs> yes. so, and we actually very good point. Like we actually specifically tell people if you do have an experience, don't, share don't tell people because for obvious reasons. I say that to our guys all yeah. the time. Like if if we ever go to a different place, I purposely will go to one room mm. and not say anything to then see if he goes into the room and has the same thing. We do that to all this. the time. But this room, I find, I don't know what it is. I can't explain that the atmosphere in this room is really heavy or flat or different or, you know, even taking breaths. Yeah. Well, the air was really? thicker. That's exactly yeah. the way I felt. And I'm even getting goosebumps now because you feel it too. It's not in my head. But every time I come in, I feel that. I don't feel comfortable. I mean, I wouldn't, if you just went out, I wouldn't stay in here with no light. <laughs> I'd be coming out after you. So we will go out here then and see what way you are with the main, the main, main staircase. Of, I thought of an Irish pun. Where are the Irish restrooms? Where? On the third floor. <laughs> oh, the turd floor. Turd. <laughs> that, was really good. that was good. I, can't, I literally can't tell where we are. Oh! I love it. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, this is this is Hill House. Oh my gosh. Holy. It's the same design, or I won't say it's the exact same, but the same design as what you'd see on and the uh, bottom of the sea in the Titanic. Mm. And in the Vatican in Rome, so to say that the Pope walks up the same style of staircase as this and wow. goes up and spits and all that kind of stuff, yeah. So as you can see, very proud, very, I suppose, elaborate and when you walk in through the main door, you are greeted with the tile floor and then this, so it's kind of awe factor throughout the whole house, you know. Yeah. What have you experienced paranormal wise here? Um, was, would you believe it was on a Friday the 13th, we were down there. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect day, right? And uh, it was completely, it was like yourself, it was private, there was, it wasn't really open to the public or anything at all like that. And we have walkie talkies and we're earpieced up. So technically anything that comes through the walkie, I'll only hear through the earpiece. Long story short, we're just chatting like what we're doing now, and this was just weird. Um, attention came through the speaker on the walkie talkie, it came through the speaker and not the earpiece. And I kind of go, okay. Who was that? And I said it to the group of friends, I goes, you just heard that right? He goes, yeah, yeah, we heard that. It was and I checked, turned on the torch, checked the wire, it was all connected and stuff. So was it the house saying, attention, stop ignoring me? Mm. Or, listen, I fully understand it could be a boat going by, and mm. uh, could be interference, but at that exact moment, who would be saying, stand to attention, or was it a taxi or a cab going by? And, do you know what? So, yeah, but for a taxi to go by, exactly, we're nowhere exactly. near a room. Exactly, exactly. So that's, I suppose, the most. For, for, that's probably the only come back. I was like, here we go. I was like, here we go. Um, but that, <laughs> catch a go. I just told him to you Sorry. about the story when the tension came through on the walkie talkies. That was so weird. Yeah. Yeah, that was so um, weird. But as regards, uh, Tina had a very interesting experience uh, in the middle floor. This one, yeah. We decided to come down here one night and stay here a night. We decided to sleep up on the middle floor, but we arrived down and from the minute we got down here, we felt really uncomfortable, like jumpy at everything. We were just so jumpy, if something brushed off as we were. I said, wait, I just really feel really, I'm just not happy here tonight. I think we have to go home. And he's like, we're not going to go home because you'd be kicking yourself if you go home. We went up to the middle floor. We had our EVPs. So we set the EVPs. We didn't have, we weren't running a camera, just the recorders. We put them in the middle of the floor. I'll show you the room when we go up. Yeah. And we just went totally silent. I sat out my back to a window and there was a shutter on the window. And uh, as I was sitting with my back to the window, every second I thought something was going to happen. And behind me, just, but it was this bang on the shutter. The bang came through on the shutter. I felt it on my back. Now we're two floors up, so it's nobody outside. And you see it, there's gates coming into lofters. There's a huge driveway down. There's security everywhere. So there was nobody. 
and it was a bang on the shutter. I screamed and jumped forward. Wayne was like, what the F has just happened? And it was just total chaos. And it was the next day then, it was Billy who does the sound. He ran it on his computer. He put it onto the computer and looking for any anomalies at all. And he rang and he said, Tina, come down to the house. I need you to hear this. And it was literally when I, can you hear? I heard that as well. Doom, doom. Tina, come down to the house, I need you to hear this. And it was literally when I... Can you hear? I heard that as well. Doom, doom. I did, I did actually did you hear it. it? I think I actually did hear it. Brilliant. I heard... Yeah, that's I what heard I heard some jingling, but I think that's your... I'm going to take these off. No, no, that's fine. going to be jingling all night. At first I thought it was like keys with yeah. the steps. I really well, so what Billy picked up on the EVPs was um, women and men screaming behind me. It was like disembodied voices. It was like another dimension. It was like not in the room with me. It wow. So we'll show you the middle floor. Sure. Oh, well, that one down there is for the bang, the shutter behind me. Oh, right there. Over in here. Yeah. Now this bath was put in for the film. Um, uh, the, what's it called? The Lodgers. The Lodgers. So they, they, the film crew that came to film, they left the props, which was lovely. But I was just showing you, I was kneeling here against that, and it was literally, that's the bang. And I jumped forward like it was just awful. It was here. Nothing like. And just to know. point out as well, Tina, the shutters are on the inside, not the, so in other words, the if it was, the way people that. people might say it could have been a could have been a bird or something, no. but the shutters are on the yeah. inside of the window. Oh yeah, I can see this glass pane right there. There's glass behind there. this. I suppose a common thing I've seen in this hallway was remember the the tall figure, but it's not uh, what we'd call it's not shadow, it's like static. Mm. So like you leave a TV on, all the channels are gone. It's just like static. Like Baldrige, when it's the white noise kind of thing, and Stanton just like a static here. figure. What? Yeah, yeah. Made of static. Yeah. The figure was static. Static. When a group of my guys seen it, um, they weren't friends. They were totally random strangers that I brought up here, and I asked them all what way would they explain the figure that they seen, and they said the only way they can explain it is static, mm. like it, yeah. you know, which is really interesting. If you know, spirits can you know the energy and yeah. like really interesting but one thing that people always say even we've had people total non-believers is the, the shadow that they've seen in this hallway like seven foot not even six foot seven foot tall mm -hmm. dark just yeah. like dark just yeah. terrible yeah wow so and it's not meant to be very friendly on this floor whatever the history is on this floor it's not meant to be very friendly on this floor. And this is the floor Kitty Devereaux that owned at the hotel. This is the floor that she had stayed on. Uh, she was run out of here. She left all of her belongings. So we're going to go in here now to the devil's bedroom, which is on the right hand side. So is this the room he was going to sleep in? Is that why they um, call it that? Oh my God. You just wanted to get your head down, there's beds there. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Yeah, honestly. Lift up. There you go. No. Yeah. So we can get you in two no. or three hours. Yeah. We can, we can call you. Remember we're telling you the story about the statues in the house? Yeah. We were actually doing a lockdown four years ago. Yeah. But one of the members of the team at the time was experiencing something and apparently he was pushed or fell against the table and this was on it. Mm -hmm. And when it fell, that's what I ended up with. Literally. Now, coincidence? He was a, a demonologist. He was a demonologist, yeah. And he wow. felt he was attacked. Yeah, and you can see the head knocked off. And Everything, like it's just, so. just a totally bit, came apart. A little bit of trivia. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So we kept it. Yeah, so that's just been sitting on the mental piece of said that show, yeah. How long ago did that happen? It's about four, four years, years ago. ago. About four years ago, yeah. I mean, Evan, could you imagine the picture we could take here on the camera you didn't bring? Uh, no, I can't imagine it because I forgot the camera in the hotel. <laughs> Even this one's velvet! They had money back in the oh day. Oh my gosh. Um, I suppose the most interesting thing about this room is the mirror. We done a screen session. I sat in the chair and was screen on Facebook Live. Mm. Of course, people were seeing like, faces in the mirror. And like I was asking people on the live to ask questions for me to ask. Mm -hmm. more, you know, um, I find it gets a lot of interaction that way as well. Mm -hmm. But people were seeing like, my face change and, and you're standing on my left. 
and they were seen like another dark figure standing behind us and stuff, really? stuff like that. Yeah. They were found in the house. He doesn't have a clue who these pictures are. Hmm. But yeah, like that, I'd keep them as well. You know. No way. So obviously, these were family members of maybe the Devereaux. I think we should uh, show them the tapestry. Yeah. I just want to see the reaction to that room. <laughs> This is, this is I'm yeah. saying nothing. Like, we always have to get a reaction like little pieces because they're either adjusting to Evan's light or like, I know. <laughs> we have to yeah. wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is just, it's just cool. What? Don't look at Don't freak out. I just, okay. So, this room, when Chris told you the story about Lady Anne bending down, finding the card on the floor, and he had hooped feet, so the devil. Um, what he didn't tell you was. She had, he had stayed here for a few days or a few weeks at that stage. But he stayed here and Lady Anne had been having relations with him. And when he went up through the roof, she couldn't believe what was after happening. And she was really mourning for him. And she had found out she was pregnant. So when the family found out that she was pregnant and that it was from this dark stranger, so she was pregnant with the devil's child, they locked her into this room, the tapestry room. She was in this tapestry room for a couple of years and she lost her mind and she died looking out the window in a chair, uh, waiting for the dark stranger to come back to her. They say that the baby was born. The body of the baby was found here. When they renovated the house, when Chris had said the house was renovated in the 1800s, was it? Or the early 1900s? And there was a body, the skeletal remains of a baby found behind the fireplace here. What? And even in her grave that me and Chris went to, her grave is probably around 10 miles yeah. down the road. We went to see her grave and her grave, she did die in the fetal position. She, she was curled yes. up. She had to be buried in a specially made coffin. So her, her, the, the church is here and her grave is like a mound. It's like nearly circular. It's not long and straight. So she was buried in the, the position that she died in, and usually. In seated position. Yeah, yeah. So... She was locked in here for 10 years. 10 oh. years. The story goes that Father Thomas Broaders was the priest that carried it out. To say that he rid the house, every room in the house, of all the evil, all the entities, all this, but he couldn't rid this room. Whatever it was about this room, he couldn't get rid of it. That's what the legend or the lore that goes with the house. I swear I just saw like a black shadow at the top corner just go Phew. Really? Yeah, I swear. Has people reported that here? Yeah. In here, absolutely. Huge. Sometimes when it's black they, they see lights and other times they see dark shadows, but it's always up the top. It's never around here going down. It's always up the top where it's reported. That's what I just saw. Mm. It was at the top corner. Mm. Mm. Always up the top. So the exorcism took three days. Three days. Is that because he had got room back for it? I'd say so, absolutely, and I think as well, it's just for the feet that it was. Um, the side, as you said, whatever it was about this room, um, to say it was either trapped, he trapped everything in here, or he couldn't get rid of it. Simple as. What? Wait, so you're also saying that she was having sex with the devil, right? For weeks at a time? which means the devil never took his shoes off? My view was the family was so well known, the family were so well off. It was a real, really bad for your daughter to get pregnant, you know, mm. unmarried, underage. I think a stranger did end up being shipwrecked. I think a stranger did end up to the door. And I think that it was much easier for the family because back in the day, um, Ireland, they were very religious and they were, you know, the devil was spoke about, and I think it was easier for them to say their daughter got pregnant by the devil, taken advantage of, rather than say she got pregnant by a guy, you know, because it would have, they would have been, yeah, they would have been shunned. Yeah. That would have been horrible for the, their, their name would have been dragged down. The music that has been picked up before is everything is quiet and people have heard it's like nuns chanting or like a like organ. The, uh, Stanta period. Yeah, like it's it's really weird music. It's like music has been played. So they don't play. They're not set up to anything. And people have been sitting, let's say, on the main staircase. They'd hear really faint music coming through, or they've heard nuns chanting. That's that's what it's been explained. It's like chanting. Yeah. So, which is really interesting. Wait a second. Is what? this the whole thing? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It is. 
<laughs> you're getting searched. Yeah. You're getting searched when you're leaving here. <laughs> I there's only I'm, start wearing You're going to pat me down. You're like, Corey would have asked all the wallpaper. <laughs> Anything right. negative happened in here? In every room, there has been something negative. Like it's, it's, it's the same in this room. People would have been asked to leave. They would have felt an un, like an unbelievable feeling of sick. It's like... Um, it comes over them, the sickness feeling they need mm. to leave. Um, fear, like, so it's not shadows in here, it's more feelings, mm. you know. Um, paranoid, like somebody's watching them. Uh, the sick feeling would be one that would be felt a lot in this room. Are the rumors true that there were like demonic rituals and offerings done here? Yeah. In this chapel? Mm. And a lot of stuff that's been found would suggest that it has definitely been done here. You know, a lot of artifacts that has been found. It's 100% been done. Still got to see the third floor. Damn. Third floor. <laughs> so how much time are we spending each alone here? Uh, what? Hmm? Well, just I mean, in order to cover the whole house before sunrise, I got to be alone. We don't have to. Have you ever walked around alone here? Yeah. Yeah. This corridor. Probably twice, but that's only because, like, for a bet, they made me. <laughs> no, I don't like this card, I'm not messing. This would be the worst in the house for me. I feel really bad walking out the corridor. I don't like it. I don't walk you down here. Yeah. So, room to the right is a lot of furniture. You probably like that round house. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's so many. This place is huge. Yeah. Everywhere you go, you go, oh my god, I'm on the chair again. I know. That's like the phone from the hotel, the lamp from the hotel, I love that. And that's just been left there, and it's still there. Like, has it's so it, cool. Has it ever rang? Has anyone? Imagine, hello. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. We're in here tonight, and the phone starts ringing. You call up room service, and you're like, hi, uh, <laughs> missing a mattress. <laughs> uh, no towel. <laughs> Do you want to tell them, Tana, what we're doing there? Well, they sit here in front of the chair because I like to see if people have the same experience. So they sit in front of the chair and they just look into the mirror. They scrub, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what a lot of people have said, um, and it's not necessarily that they see anything in the mirror, every single person that sits in here has heard something from this corner. They've heard something from this corner or they have heard footsteps coming from this corner or they have felt something on the right hand on the right shoulder so whatever it is about this corner of the room a lot of people it's just like documenting things that happen to different people but they're very similar things like it's i find that really interesting always oh, it just open everything in there so I'm correct in saying we're above the devil's bedroom and we're above the tapestry room. Mm. Simultaneously. Yeah, this, this room is tapestry room, devil's bedroom, and this room. So we're directly above one of the rooms that could not be exercised. Yeah. Mm. In the floor of the house, it's supposed to be the highest, worst energy. Mm. And it's Corey's lucky number. Mm. And this room, this wardrobe, the door, I had people up here, and this door opened by itself and, and I was so happy that I wasn't up here on my own when it happened just that other people had eyes that they could verify that did happen and when this place was first taken over by Aiden there was a group of paranormal researchers in there they have a YouTube clip of it up not of the wardrobe moving but of what happened that night they said that this wardrobe literally shook this what? side came up, that side came up, this side came up. I've no reason to disbelieve them, you know. Um, but that wardrobe, loads of people have seen the door move and they've heard bangs, they've like, I don't know why, but this wardrobe. Wow. So just letting you know that. Right, well, will I show you the last room? Yeah. And then we'll go home, we'll leave you to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so down right now. But you're joining us tonight, right? So this is the last room and this room would be um in to me it's it's on this floor it's the hallway. To me it's the hallway that really or the room 13 and not because it's room 13 it definitely isn't to do with 
room 13, I think it's more to do with the furniture that's in the room. Mm -hmm. I think there's an energy to the furniture, that's being honest. Uh, but the hallway, I just feel the hallway is, if there is something in the hallway, it's not friendly. It's, it's given, like it doesn't welcome me, that hallway does not. I mean, <laughs> I've come up here to get equipment before. <laughs> And you ever get that feeling? I'd be getting equipment and I'd start walking down the hallway and you feel like there's something behind you. Yeah, and you're, you're like walking quicker. And then yeah. you're, and you're like running like an yeah. Egypt, running down the stairs. Yeah. Like you just have to get down the hallway. Yeah. It's just horrible. That, so that I don't think it's very house. friendly, whatever's up here. The energy isn't friendly. But I do think that room and I think it's more the furniture. Okay. So for the first time ever, <laughs> last night at the Ancient Rim Inn, at 6.45 in the morning when we left, we also left all of our tools, everything. We packed it all up and just left it in the downstairs area. So then I reached out to you and be like, can you bring yours? And you brought everything and then some. <laughs> By the way, it packed way better than yeah, our stuff is. <laughs> Ours is in like a lunch box. <laughs> With like foam just thrown in between everything. And we wonder where everything gets broken. Doesn't this feel like dealer no deals? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what a great way to pick your tools tonight. <laughs> Number thirteen. <laughs> pick a box. Pick a box. Pick a box. Pick a box. <laughs> tonight you'll be investigating with <gasps> everything. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> you literally got everything. At first I thought it was just batteries. <laughs> you know, the double A batteries. Corey, tonight you have won the Obulus, also an Eddie meter, a REM pod, and what's that I see? Spear box. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Oh my God, you got everything. What the hell? Come on. Not, come on, I'm not done. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, touch me, baby. I'm now. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Give <laughs> okay, the batteries. Oh. And a torch that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I just found the case as well. Oh, fuck. Oh. Thank you. Right, well, we're going to lose it that way. <laughs> So this one goes off if there's a noise or if a shadow moves in front. So you're standing there, there's nobody around, and then the robot goes near, and then it'll make noise. No. It's that's so cool. cool. That's like our music box. Yeah, exactly. But just a traditional toy. But it just has a creepy voice, so it's really cool. <laughs> there. There. So. Oh my God! So it literally turned towards the direction. Yeah, so it's so at. cool. And sometimes they take off like the people. <laughs> It shows you where the noise is coming from. <laughs> is it on the right Dude, side? Dude, if that thing starts, oh my god. Should we go from here to the poker, almost in the order in which we saw the room, from here to the poker room, yeah. tapestry room to the third floor? Deadly. Yeah, yeah. That would kind of and cover. Middle floor, don't forget that. What's on the middle floor again? Yeah. Here. Uh, Devil's Patrol. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Okay. Honestly, I feel like the SLS here yeah, would be really cool to use. Yeah. There, Chris, you said the SLS. I'm going to put the dog in here. Would that have been right here? Maybe. Yeah. That might have actually been taken right here. I really want to walk around holding this. Oh, that would be sick. Are we allowed to like light the candles in here? Yeah. Do you have a lighter? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks so cool with the candles. Yeah. I wonder if they have one of the <laughs> What? Why'd you just laugh? Huh? I heard it. No, why'd Evan just laugh? Oh, wait. The dogs fell over. You got that on camera. Wait, what made you laugh? I looked and the doll scared the shit out of me. No, but the doll just fell. Uh, yeah, I know. Did you catch it on camera? Yeah, he had to if he was pointing right at it. I might have gotten it. I was wondering what the hell was making you laugh. His eyes That's were lit up. That's why I put the doll there. The doll was doll? made for that room. Oh, look, it's going off. Oh. 
So that's what I was pointing is that her eyes were lighting up. Oh, what's that? What room is this? The, is the card game room? No, that can't just a noise. Where did the whistle come from? Actually, uh, Was it the red Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is the tapestry room. That's yeah. the tapestry room. Yeah. It fell over in the tapestry room. Density. Disturb. Disturb? Disturb. Is that the... The EV meters. Do you think there would be a lighter in the... Uh, where we, like, where all the kitchen stuff is? I was going to not like... Might be worth it. I feel like it'd be worth looking. You don't want to go in there, Corey? No, her eyes just lit up again. That's so cool. Should we ask her to do it again? Absolutely. <laughs> someone or something in that room and you just knocked over the doll can you do it again okay good i'm literally just i'm just waiting for it to do it again well remember if you wait for it it's not going to happen it was just unexpected I have a device in my hand that will allow you to communicate with me. You can put words into this and I'll be able to talk with you. Man. That's a creepy room, dude. That's a that's a freaky room. Like pitch black, just looking in there. Yeah. That's like a terrifying feeling. Absolutely. Is the spirit of Anton Michelle here with us tonight? Can you knock over that doll? It's so quiet, isn't it? Dude, it's like too quiet. Yeah, it's really quiet. What if we put that robot in front of the door? Absolutely. Actually, put the room. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, you good idea. Lighter? No. Nah. I mean, yes, but they're dead. No, it's a lighter, so they're not working. They're not working? They're just trying to... Hey, the robots don't want to stand anymore. The robot won't work now. Huh? Oh, got it. We decided to... Got it? <laughs> Put the robot in there. Dude, the ovulus is completely done. Yeah? It won't even turn on. Dude, it was full green. I always thought maybe mine was just broken. But... That wasn't even five minutes of it being yeah. on. Yeah. I'll run up and charge this. I just want to show you something. If there's anything in that room, make that... Make that little tiny little device on the ground go over to you. If you're in that room, make that device go to you now if you can. Hello? My name is Corey. Hello? My name is Elton. If there is anything in this building, and if you would like to communicate with us tonight, could you touch the device that we put at the top of the stairs? Should we be afraid 
this house. Is it turning? Yeah. So you turn on that gets a little. Yo. Yo, it completely turned. Yeah. Wait, where's it about to go? Yeah, if there's anything in that room, make that the voice go towards you. Show us that they're there. Oh, some DC this. Now it's actually turning back towards us. Look, it's coming back to us. Should we go in there? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Should we bring the uh, REM pod? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Bring it. Absolutely. Oh, there's your pants. I'm going again. Wait, it just. Yo, look, Ryan. Ryan. And right as you look, it stopped. And the head table, or the knees fall off as well. well. And the arms legs fall off, and which is actually even better. Wait, so why did that toy just turn off and fall over? Now, just for argument's sake, say the battery's gone in that, and it went in the obelisk, and it's went in Wayne's camera. And then this has gone off as well. Whoa. Dude, that was a huge spike. It's definitely still on Tina, yeah? Elton, can you bring the uh, REM pod? Yeah. Yes, okay, so that's the... Spirit of Van Tom here tonight with us. Anna, you in this room tonight? Are you happy that we're here, Anne? Still actually, sweet. Still actually sweet. Go. That is going to be like a good jump, good jump. Yeah, that noise. Yeah. Right? I hear it more throughout there than I am in here. It's like rubbing the floor. So I thought it was, I thought it was hearing the steps outside. Do you try to play some cards? Yeah, actually. Yeah. You want to go to the poker room? Poker room? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the poker room. Let's do it. Try and lighten things up a little bit. So, so far, doll fell over by itself. It the robot. Knocked over the robot, killed the ovulus, <laughs> killed the speaker, but then now the speaker turned back on. And the battery light earlier. Killed his battery light. That's the first room. Just playing around so far. Let's go to the poker room. Play some cards. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
virtue to be back? No. Uh, <laughs> Sam, do you have any nine? Ooh, flashlight just died. Yeah, my phone died too, by the way. Did that? Mm-hmm. There's like four charge I walked in here. What what did you guys say? What did you ask for? for fuck's sake. Any nines? Nines. Oh. So is that a yes or a no? Bro, it just got freezing again. Or uh, Evan. Ooh. Yeah. Done done. So that's how many pieces of equipment is that? Completely. Look, no matter no matter how I twist it. That is six pieces of equipment have done. Completely done. That's weird. Right. Oh. Isn't that strange that the guess and he immediately drinks? Turns the light off. Yeah. Really? I didn't notice it went through. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I went, it was a no, nothing went off at all. I remember that yeah. last one, yes. Because if you have a nine, immediately flashlight dies and you didn't have a nine. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was too busy visiting. That was really cool. <laughs> Sick? A little bit. It's very calm. Like I'm freezing right now, like something keeps touching my ears and I just have like anxiety. Well, get up. Get up the yeah. Do you want to step away? Yeah. Can you go outside? No. I ain't seen anything. Can I go? Should we just all go somewhere and then Tina goes off, goes the 10 minutes and meets us back? Or Yeah, or we could walk her up to the stairs. Sure. And then we should all maybe go in like the double bedroom. Sure. Right? Somewhere different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, like grab a walkie talk. Yeah, we can grab one. Yeah, I'm not even messing like that. <laughs> <laughs> we still need to get Yep. Does it ever play with like people's emotions in here? Y- yeah. Uh, in the whole house. But you know about emotions. Emotions as in high anxiety or sadness or very emotional. Sad was, uh, I think that's what you're asking, isn't it? I think it? there was someone that felt like wanted to cry one day. Mm. I have a feeling you're picking up on something, are you? I'm just angry right now. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why. When you ask me, like, what do you say? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, um, we're just saying about how mad. Just mad? I'm just mad. Like, when you're like, what are you staring off at? Yeah, you just like, you were like staring, like, pissed at the corner. That's where I was like, what's wrong? I feel fine now that, like, I'm acknowledging that, like, I was feeling mad. Like, I guess I wasn't realizing it, you know, sitting there. Like seriously, like, why was it, like everybody was laughing that whole game and I literally just sat there in silence the whole time. Like you were directly underneath the the markings, the roof where the burns are, and dude I was freezing that entire time. I mean, but it would come in like like Evan felt it once too. It was like it would like every five minutes or so it would just from head to toe it would just get so Make you feel better. Probably 20 minutes from now, we'll have some amazing footage of Tina crying that you can watch. Okay, that might be fun. That'll be good. You know, good. just watch the misery of the person that invited us here. I have to keep my finger on everything. I have to keep a finger here. I have to keep a finger there. <laughs> I'm just so not brave on the third floor. Right, I just get this over with. Yeah, we'll follow you up. Very brave. Yeah. <laughs> Would you, you, you know, Corey, yeah, you can do it, right? Right? Yeah. No. You can, you can lie. You can lie right now, Corey. Huh? You can What's lie. That? Yes. You do it, right? I would. Well, I would take turns on the third floor. No. It's okay. want to. It's okay. Sure. Yeah. Where do you just want me to go? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Gonna stay there. That was a... Oh God, I fell. You okay? You fall? I'm okay. Okay, we'll see you in two hours. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Can you still hear me? 
and then she died. Oh my or the Amazon walkies don't work that way. Well. <laughs> Did you die? Over. I'm here. Can you hear me? They may not work that well. Okay, there was definitely a light over there. Do we just keep going or do we tell her that the walkies don't work? <laughs> Guys, I know you're messing with the walkie talkie, but seriously, is there somebody in the hallway? Be here for a few minutes. Okay. So should I just turn these off? <laughs> she genuinely thought she genuinely hanging stuff. Chris? There's a lot of like patterns on the walls that yeah. when you look at them in a certain way they look like something else. <laughs> this is absolute torture. I'm not even messing. Like, I'm not even messing. Oh my god, the bastards closed the door. I mean, it looks like a big ass flea face or something like that. It's metal. Yeah, it comes down right right. Oh eye, yeah, the nose and the eyes. Yeah, almost like a like a like horns. I suppose nine years have gone up and down to here. This is my first time doing this properly. Like absolutely decent. Can you hear me? How long has she been up there by herself? Like oh, 10 minutes. Okay, maybe we get her. Yeah. Mom, who's up here with me? Only two hours and 50 minutes more to go. Okay, that is my torture. Never again. Like, never again. Not even funny. Oh, they're all closed. Jesus. Because the light was off, I could see the light under the door. The light was off. He's got me. Yeah. <laughs> He's totally got me. Gotcha. I can't believe it. I'm not I can't believe you let them, Chris. <laughs> but there was no coverage at all on the walkie. And I said, "Okay, lads, I know you are messing with me. Who the f is in the hall? Like this? Yeah, the yeah. hall. We, no, I, we were. We didn't hear any of that first part. And then there was nothing at all. Nothing. Yeah, the walkie didn't work when we went down. Yeah. two floors. We were down. Jeez. Uh, two. We're down on one of the f lands down there. Yeah. We weren't up here until we Yeah, no, we I there. definitely heard something in the hallway, and that's what, what I was saying to you. Listen, you know, I know you're messing. Just answer the one. No, we definitely heard it, and it's the guys will have it on camera. We didn't hear any of that. No. What did it sound like? I thought somebody was walking in the hallway, so that's why I was saying to you. And then I had said it as well. There's a light, so there was a light down there. That's why I said there was a light. Messing. There was a light down there. So I was holding the camera and I'm going, right, so there's, because I wanted to mark it, I was like, there's definitely a light. Listen, lads, you are messing because I thought if they're messing with a light or if they're messing walking because I heard walking and I seen a light. Definitely because that not. door was closed. I didn't even know if the door was closed. <laughs> so how was the there door a light? So I was like, the bastards shut the door. I how was there a the light? Door was shut. Yeah, no, that was- Was it like a flashlight? It was a light, yeah, but it came out of a room down there. So, oh, that's nowhere near us. We were literally, yeah. we never left the stairwell. We definitely weren't up here. Mm. Until we actually told you we were up here. Mm. No, definitely. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a look at Which room? Yeah. yeah, I wanna, I wanna know what she's talking about. So... In there! So, is there even a... Hold on. There's not even a window. Because I thought even if there's a window. There's not even a window. 
What? So in there. So I was standing over here. And when I said to you, I, and then I said, listen lads, I know you are messing. Just tell me where you are. Because yeah. I heard something in the hall. And then I said, okay, there's a light as well. Lads, where are you? Yeah. Should we get all the tools and then go to uh, his bedroom? We should grab tools and then maybe like split up, mm -hmm. cover more ground. Because we actually are going to run out of time soon. Yeah, you'd, you'd actually get more. All right, so we're going to split up, so it seems, to cover more grounds. Yeah. We're going up to the devil's bedroom. You guys are going to the third floor. Yeah. We each have our different tools. And uh, see how the night goes. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Does that mean we're up the, up the stairs, right? Yeah. Let me take something. Okay. Uh, okay. You got everything you need, Corey, yeah? I think so. Do you think we should bring anything else? Um, I'm gonna grab the Yeah. Yeah. Is this the staircase where the people died? Yeah, so this is all exactly, and that, that's the cross just there on the land of this one in the one, yeah. You think we should do anything right here? Yeah, more than welcome, absolutely. Maybe? Why not? Actually, let's set this off. You ask the questions. Which means you're wearing that. I'm wearing them. Okay. Perfect. Right? And then I will tell you anything that comes through. Yes, yeah, anything that's clear. Mm -hmm. And if you hear it, just pop it out. So I was told that many people have died on this staircase. Are any of the souls that died here with us today. If you are, can you please interact with one of our devices? No, these are on now, so I can't hear a word. Okay. Was it an accident? Or is there an entity here that pushed these people down the stairs? Energy. No way. <laughs> yeah. No way. Is it an evil energy? Did an evil energy kill these innocent people? If there's anyone here, we can communicate through our friend Tina by pushing through any words or sentences you'd like us to hear. Sounds like a hey. It seems as though you've already figured out how to use the communication device. Woman. Now, are you mad that a woman's sitting at your bed? Or are you happy that a woman's sitting at your bed? Are they above us? No. They'd be kind of on the same boat. They're at the, like literally over that side of the building. On the other side of the building? Yeah. It sounded like it was above us. Yeah. Like to me, what I thought, like, do you know when we go up here, turn and go up the next one? Yeah. That's right, I thought it was just at the end of that. Like, what, what it sounded yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. If that is you up there, or if that is anything up there, can you walk down towards us? Make one of the devices go off actually on the stairs? It's me. Now who is me? Who are you?
believe me. Let's head up to room 13. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what we get up there. Let's do it. Tip. What was that? Tip. Tip? Yeah. Are you trying to give us a tip? What are you trying to tell us? Or could it be like, uh, like tip over? Like tip, oh. Do you know what I mean? Like they tipped over on the stairs. Yeah. Could you give us a name? I didn't know. No. Are you the girl here who was allegedly impregnated up here by a man? Are you trying to tell us that you didn't know who the man was until it was too late? This is called the devil's bedroom. You. Could you tell me why it's called the devil's bedroom? I rule. Okay. Into the cupboard. Can I light up the arms? If that's really you, light up the arms, mate. Now what do you rule over? Are you the ruler of the underworld? He take. You rule and you take. Leave. You rule, you take and you leave. Home. Took this home. that or are you reminding yourself no I'm gonna ask you some questions to answer yes cross the rods to answer no spin the rods outwards are there any spirits or souls or anything in here with us Well, if you do rule, we would need to know your name. You won. You won. Who do we serve in this room? What is your name? We're there. We're there. Earlier when we were in the tapestry room, I saw a shadow in the top corner. 
Was that you? Cross for yes. You are an evil spirit, cross for yes. If you are a good spirit, spin outwards. Dude, what's like really like shocking me right now is just like. Normally when I do thousand rocks, they go really fast, right, you know? Right. And like, this is just moving so slow, yeah, but it I, is, it's still answering. Yeah. And it's just one of them just kind of... I know. Do the, you know what I mean? You see, that's, that's yeah. why I was like trying to mess with this a second ago. I couldn't yeah. figure it out. We're there, where? We're, we're there. Okay. Who is we and where is there? Here. There is here. So you're here. I did. You're saying you're here in the house. Were you with us when we were playing poker? Playing Leave. cards? Leave. Why do you want us to leave? You already made us leave the card room. If there is an energy in this room, can you please touch the rim pod and make it go off? You see that? Yeah. That was a big spike. Yeah. And that's the, the blue and the orange pod at the same time. The blue did also? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you do that again once more while Corey's looking over there? Can you set up the blue lights once more, please, if you can? Go on. It's an interesting thing about that. Is it not when it goes quiet, that voice goes quiet, and next one just starts spiking and tapping it on? So, in other words, if it was like something that was constantly influencing it, it'd be just always going up to the domain. Can you make these rim pods point to the direction of where you are? Do you want us out of the house? What will you do if we don't leave? Go. The beginning. You guys were in there? There's two footsteps out there. If that was you out in the hallway, walk into the room so we all can hear you. This hasn't gone off. Doesn't seem so. Isn't that strange? It hasn't gone off. But when I asked, what you know, what was on the stairs that made those people energy, energy, energy? Yeah. We're not going to leave that easily. So what reason will you give us to make us go? Do you only wish to make us uncomfortable? I did. Stop. What do you want to stop? Do you want to stop communicating? Is that why you want us to go? 
Is the noise irritating you? Can you hear the static, the noise? And that's what's bothering you. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw someone standing right next to you. Really? I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing. I might be really tired. Like, my eyes might actually just be playing tricks on me. It was like coming forward. Yeah. I've actually. No. You'd have to see it. You got it? Yeah. A few people have actually said that before to see you stuff standing around me. Standing around me. Standing around me. Standing around you? Yeah. Dude, that was weird. It was all white. Yeah? Yeah, it was all white. I've never felt like this during an investigation. Really? Yeah, like I'm just so drained and I'm just so out of it. And I'm just mood, mood changes and anxiety and just. You no, know, it's, it's, it's like it's leaving an experience, which is not. Yeah, no, it really is. Can you give us one reason to leave? Or your name? Broken. You can tell her to take the headphones off. Good? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Anything makes sense? I couldn't hear a word you were saying. Yeah, I was being really quiet. Um, yeah, a couple things lined up. It was basically, I was saying, like, do you want us here? And then you would say, like, go and leave. Oh, love us. And then I was trying to get a reason why we should go. Didn't get one. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. Not sure. It was very close. You were saying a lot of the same things. Oh. I kept hearing the same leave and go. Oh. Almost like something was on repeat. No, that's really... Yeah, I hadn't done it this way before. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I'm interested in that. That's new. I 100% saw something next to you. I'm just very interested now to see if that GoPro... Dude, if that GoPro got like an orb or something you know I mean? just yeah. right then, then that's literally great proof, you know what Absolutely. I mean? But it's... I, I literally feel like this house tonight is just training us and everything. Like, that's all it wants. It just wants our energy. Yeah. It's so strange, cause like not even the rim pods went off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's. I'll do yeah. that. We've done it. Uh, normally, we have actually noise canceling headphones where you can't. It doesn't matter how close you are, you can't hear anyone. Yeah. We have some times where it's been like remarkably like responsive. Really good. And then we've had other times where like nothing lines up at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we prefer it that way because when you're doing the big group session. Mm -hmm. So many people hear so many different things. Oh. It's easier, I think, when just one person just listening. Oh yeah, no, sure. It's it's a, yeah. You'll hear what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. So it's just one person. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, just one mm -hmm. person, and then you dual record it. So that mm -hmm. way you can like make sure that whatever you're saying is actually the same thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I liked that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like just sitting in the darkness, just yeah. doing that. Did the K2 ever go off? No, K2 did not go off. Never went off. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nothing. Uh, I even did it with Tina upstairs. She had the headphones on. And I was asking questions so she didn't hear anything. Oh, and she was going really to say what she heard. And a couple things lined up. It was more so along the lines. We were in the double bedroom, and the only thing that was lining up was I would ask, like, do you want us here? And she would say, leave, leave, leave. But no, she like, like, was only hearing leave, like, that's it. Like, and they were like a good amount of time apart. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, and it was a lot of like go, leave, right? Like, dude. And I rule was a lot. I rule. I rule, and I was like, "What do you rule? Like, do you rule this house and it's at home?" And I said, "You know, it was a lot of like this is my home that I rule, and you need to leave." Was kind of the message I was getting. But it was just the same words. That she kept hearing over and over again, which is not how the spirit box should ever work. Dude, that's kind of right about our theory, though. It's literally just draining our energy and saying, get out. Yeah. It doesn't want to mess with our tools, it just wants to take our energy and wants us to. 
Yeah, it's pretty. It's actually pretty close to what was happening. Yeah. It was just a lot of the same. No matter what I would ask, it was just like, no, leave. Like that's it. Do the any names or anything? Sure. No, no, I was asking. She never once said a name. Nothing of the sort. Well, thank you both so much for having us here. I mean, we met you at the Hellfire Club, like. 12 days ago or something like that <laughs> yeah and then you recommended coming back here so we rerouted our trip to fly here yeah still can't believe you actually made it yeah i can't it's, either it's crazy we haven't slept well in probably two weeks <laughs> <laughs> when we started the trip i don't think we slept well yeah no it's, ex- it's been brilliant actually really good having here yeah really and we've had now. a great time it's our pleasure yeah yeah no from the hell for club and tonight you are amazing Oh, yeah. Thanks. Tonight yeah. was definitely a very interesting investigation. Yeah. I don't think we've ever experienced this. Yeah, I've never seen you get angry during an investigation before. Yeah, that was weird. I've seen you get sad quite often. Yeah. But not angry. And weren't you telling us something about someone else had been had an anger issue? Yeah, um, and it was unfortunate. Like I just popped into my head. So when Aiden first took over at Loftus Hall, he had the cameras set up when he was doing a day tour, but in all the rooms it was black dark. So he had a night vision camera on. And what happened was one guy, you could see in the camera, he was getting anxious, his anxiety was getting higher. And he literally ran towards a woman that was in the group. There was probably 10 of them. He ran towards a woman and he tackled her to the ground. And then you see other people running in and pulling him off. And what they said was, um, he felt anger. He said it just came right from the pit of his stomach up and it was anxiety turned into anger. What? And that is exactly what you said today. You yes. felt, first you felt anxious. Uh-huh. And then the anxious turned into anger and you didn't actually know what was going on with you. You just went really quiet. It was really weird. Yeah. You know, I get, I get, out. I get quiet when I'm angry. But that was during a tour? Mm, that was a yeah. tour with other people. It was in mine. It was in the tapestry room, was it? Mm. One of the rooms downstairs. It so it is on YouTube, so I was trying to find it. I, we'll I'll find keep it. looking. Yeah, okay. you can find that. We'll try I want to find, find that. Mm. Wow. Mm. Was it worth the trip? Yeah. yeah it was worth <laughs> the trip just to see this place. Brilliant. To be honest, oh, 100%. Even, I think it was worth it just to see the staircase. Brilliant. Like and I think you are the last guys filming. Yeah. I love to saw. As far as I'm aware, um, yous will be the last people filming because Loftus Hall now is sold. Yeah. Wow. wow. And That's the, it. The keys are being exchanged like soon, right? It's, it could yeah. be tomorrow, it could be the next day. Oh, it's wow. literally, wow. yous have got in literally by a thread, which is brilliant. I'm delighted to see it. And they're going to fully renovate this place, right? Fully renovate. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's still on the QT exactly what way, but I do know that the paranormal is is ended in Loftus to solve. There is no more paranormal. Wow. Will it ever end though? <laughs> Never. <laughs> paranormal investigation. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You so I'm so happy you has got in because you are so genuine what you do. Like you are so genuine what you do. Like thank I'm really, you. really impressed, yeah. Well thank well, you for the opportunity. Mm. No I'm more I just have to say it's, it was fun. Mm. Now we gotta read your book. Oh. Yeah, now that we've been here, yeah, we're tripping the other way around, maybe, but... Right, he might go, ugh. <laughs> we'll read the book and watch the movie. Yeah, After yeah. After we'd already been here, yeah, 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 for sure. But, uh, no, was, uh, to be honest, I even said it to Tina, remember after the Hell for Gods, that was actually really good fun. Really enjoyable. Fun. So it was a pleasure. Hell for Gods was amazing. Yeah. 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 Was I didn't amazing. know what to expect. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I had a fantastic couple of nights with you. Yeah, that's great. Hope well, to see you again. Yeah, we'll be okay. back soon and uh, we'll have a less packed schedule to have more energy for every place to go to. There actually is, yeah, there actually is a lot more to show them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just, if you well, want to come back over, we'll come back over. I think we're definitely like going to be back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And well, uh, I suppose give me on page a plug as well, will you? Yes. If it's into horror, Chris Rush Horror Writer, check it out on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bit of a horror nerd, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all for, for watching. This is the last video from the, I guess, UK Ireland series. Yeah. Um, obviously, we packed in a lot of places on this trip because it took so long to get out here with all the COVID restrictions. So, when we finally made it out here, I wanted to make sure we did as many thoughts as we could in case we couldn't come back uh, with the COVID restrictions. So, yeah. It's been an interesting trip. It's been a crazy trip. 
yeah. so much activity going on. It's weird because I feel like for viewers, a lot of the time, even when like devices don't go off, I feel like that's the easiest form of activity for them to understand watching the video, right? Because they can physically see the same thing we do. Mm -hmm. And then there's nights like tonight, and then there's nights like Ancient Ram In, where there's things that you're emotionally feeling, mm -hmm. or you're visually see seeing, yeah. like cameras are. And it's very strange yeah. because like there is a lot more mm -hmm. to what you feel when you go into these places that are oh, hard yeah. to translate. So, you yeah. know, just for I guess all of you that are watching and you're like, oh, nothing happened. It's like a lot. Good stuff, good stuff happening. Yeah, a lot. They like Corey literally cried three nights ago. I did cry yeah. three nights. But if you didn't cry, they wouldn't have been able to physically see that. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Like, yeah. That would basically be the REM pod of your eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> Each tear, an emotional REM pod going on. <laughs> you were crying in Morse code. Yeah, I was. Yeah. So if you guys can actually put that together, <laughs> let me know what I said. K2 Corey? K2 Corey? <laughs> That's great. I'm copywriting that. Yeah. You gotta get the paperwork. Yeah.